This episode of Clear Shots is presented by the Impulse Podcast Network. Check out impulsepodcast.com for more info. Welcome to the Clear Shots Podcast with Seth Skinner and Jake Jones. Already mad. Welcome to the Clear Shots Podcast. I am Seth Spider-Man Skinner. <laughs> My name is Jake Cold Open Jones. Oh, damn, I should have used that I one. know, I really thought you were going to. I'm actually kind of upset that you didn't. <laughs> 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 there was this whole bit. I don't even know if it's going to be kept in or not. But it's even funnier without context because it means we're just in on the joke. It, well, it means it was edited out, right? Yeah. The cold open. The cold open. Was, I had this, I was like, Seth, here's an idea. And I well, was you kept like, telling me what to edit in and out. And then I don't no, know. No, I told you what to edit in, out. What okay. to edit out. I didn't say what edit in. Well, I said edit in the cold open, but cut the part out where I said keep the cold open in. Cut that part, out, in. Cut that part out. But I need you to have the part where I say, hey, let's keep the cold open in. And you go, that's a great idea. And then it just ends instead of having the cold open. Mm. But, um, well, I mean, you just described it so like they could picture it in their heads or whatever. Yeah. Now it's even funnier if nothing happens and it's just a normal, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a normal yeah. opening. It's like, uh, and, like, open, we, openception. We, they're missing out on like eight minutes of like raw audio. Well, it's more us being lackadaisical. Yeah. I think it'd be funny if you went through all the episodes and took all the f- like opening few minutes before claps. Right. Oh yeah. And you just call cool. it. Clear Although shots. I probably don't have the raw audio anymore of it. Um, <laughs> Maybe I do. I don't know. They just call it clear shots, cold opens. Yeah. Cold, cold shots. I think you have to get rid of a couple of them if hey, you haven't. Oh, I would have to get rid of all of them. Yeah. Or mostly <laughs> all of them, yeah. Yeah. We have a couple like, of racist what, guests. Well, what it usually is is like, let's say all the stuff that we wicked can't say on air first. And oh, then, true. And then, yeah, that's wicked fair. Because it's, like, it's always about someone specifically that yeah. we're not supposed to talk about. And we're talking shit about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So shout out to those people. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Because they, they think, know who they are. Yeah. Fuckers. Yeah. Um. So... I bought some Sailor Jerry's rum, but I also bought a. Oh, this glows in the dark. Little shooters of Jaeger, and I, should we start with the Jaeger? Uh, we can. I mean, I guess this glows in the dark. Check that out. But well, I think we should do like put a little bit of crack in and then top it off with a Sailor Jerry's and then drink that too. Because I only have 375 milliliters of that. Mm. Why don't you drink that and then I'll drink something else. But this is... I bought it for us to share. Uh, well, you said you only... <laughs> okay. But I don't want to drink it all. Oh. Yeah, well, you're gonna though. Right? Yeah. Well, let's just drink all this first. Yeah, we'll drink... And we'll figure it out hey, when we get drunk. The, 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 the audio listeners, this is for the yeah, audio yeah. listeners. Yeah. We're about to drink an entire bottle of Jaeger in mm-hmm. one swig. An entire bottle. An entire bottle. One whole bottle. But the video listeners, will, they're going to get to see it. They're going to be like, oh, those guys are pulling their legs. What a bunch of schmucks. But you just told them that we're. No, these are full. Um, these are full bottles. Yeah. Right to the top, too. To the brim. Hey, is the back of yours scuffed up? No, I got a fresh back, dude. Oh, mine's scuffed. Look at the scuff What's on like that. that. Oh, yeah, you do got a scuff. That's tough. Tough Damn. scuff. Right it's there. gonna be rough to drink this entire seven hundred seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottle of Jägermeister. I can't drink the whole in thing. one swig. Wink. You know what I saw? Well, let's drink these first. I don't think I can drink the whole thing. I it's got too much. it. Ready? Three, two, one. Shoe nice. Oh, cut this part out. You know the audio of us where it goes, where it's like, like the glug glug. Have that go on for like 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like, well, because we totally were drinking full bottles of Jaeger. Yeah, that's true. Or we could just loop that. We'll yeah, just make it like a clip yeah, of yeah, like yeah, yeah. a 20 minute episode <clears throat> of just glugs. Yeah. 
or the 10 hour we'll do a 10 hour version mm. if there's enough demand yeah which i'm sure there will be um you know what i saw at bames that i almost bought for myself they have these things called jägermeister cold pack bottles mm. and they have like that stuff that makes um like ice packs but you pour yeah. it's got jaeger in it and you put it in the freezer and it keeps it at negative 18 degrees celsius Mm. Which I'm pretty sure is like dry ice levels of cold. Yeah, that's pretty damn cold. That's super cold. Dry like, ice. I is don't crazy know what Celsius shit. is. Like <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> it's just like steaming and shit constantly. Dude, dry ice is scary. It's not even dry, is it? No. Well, don't touch it. It it'll fucking definitely don't touch it. You're gonna get burned it's by like, cold. Yeah, that's so weird. The cold it burns gives you, you frostbite like instantly. My boss and I had. Um, you would think it would freeze you. You think it would freeze you instantly. Yeah. <laughs> freezes, freezes your whole body. Yeah. <laughs> My boss buys, um, like, uh, big, big bulk containers of, like, dry ice. of dry ice, but it's also got Hot Pockets and Jimmy Dean sandwiches. Mm. He orders them from the company, so that way we have food in the ER. And it's a lot, but... He asked me one day to like get rid of the dry ice, and that was the scariest five minutes of my life. Yeah, yeah. Because he had to be an asshole and go make sure you don't put it like make sure you get rid of it properly, otherwise it's gonna explode. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. First, I've never even seen dry ice before. Yeah, we get shipments sometimes, like rarely with with dry ice, and I'm like, well. I'm not touching Someone else that. can do that, right? Yeah, literally, dude. Fuck dry ice. <laughs> Hang on. My microphone's doing that thing. Oh, it's always doing that fucking thing. Well, you shouldn't have. Well, you shouldn't have. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have. Set up that. It's your mic. You, that's the one you bought. So It's not fair. Well, you messed with it too much, I think. Yeah, not Remember when stand. we had the <laughs> I was watching the, the clip. Filters. Yeah, I was watching the clip from with Christian when cuz you like used to have the mic in like such a bad spot and like the pop filter you'd always be adjusting it and moving the mic around and shit. I think that probably played around with the cord a little bit too. Messing around with it. It's not your fault, it's just you adjusting it back to the spot, but it's just being moved all the time probably. Are you trying to replace me? Is that what this is about? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking yeah, I was talking to Christian. He said he would just he would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a thought. I was like um, in the shower. And shower I was th thought. Hashtag thinking, shower I was thoughts. thinking about Christian in the shower, which got me thinking. Like you got got you a boner immediately is what happened. Yeah, that's literally what did happen, dude. It's getting bad now. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, stop talking into it then, and then I'll just carry the show. I don't know. I would. I mean, I could try that, but I don't think it's gonna work. What did I do last time that fixed it? I think I like turned it off. Or you I just turned it off it. and back on over and over. Oh, well, let me try that. Uh, uh, you're the left one. <laughs> yeah, I'm the left one. <laughs> there. Well, that worked. Let's try that. That'll that might be a temp fix. But anyway, um <clears throat> so I was thinking, I was like, uh if Seth and I like each had our own It's popping. It's, it's popping again. If we had our own <laughs> spin off shows with a guest, which guest like okay Wait, so we each get our own show and then we co-host it with a guest. We have, to, we have guest? to pick like you it's From not me and you. Okay. It's like we have to pick a guest and you have to make it as bad as possible, but also one that's as good as possible. But you can't pick me hmm. and I can't pick you. And my first thought was to make not only the best and worst, it's popping really bad now. It's definitely popping. <laughs> <clears throat> the best and worst guest for me. Well, the worst for well, sure. Want, the worst for sure. I'm wondering if you want someone with like that con is good with you or like is going to be combative. Well, the worst would be Jake, but the right. best would also be Jake. I guess. Because yeah, he's the only true. person besides Wes. Well, Wes and I would be good, but it would be unlistenable because we would just be talking about... we. 
him and I speak a language that people don't understand. Oh, kind of like Portuguese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got it's got like a lot but of clicks. Like, I, lot I of was clicks thinking about it. how fun a, a uh, like a like a one off with just Jake and I would be, because um. I hope he's listening to this because this is what I would want to do, and I was I want to talk to him about this too, like because he wants to do let's plays with me. He's right. starting a Twitch stream, and I was like, it'd be funny if if it was just him, like giving these extravagant points about politics and society and religion and everything else. And then you just even, like, and I'm just like wicked dismissive about it. Yeah. But then like the next episode. I'm spitting those back at him. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, reciting, reciting them word for and word. And I'm like, well, you had no idea. Like, did you know this? And it's just like slowly but surely I become like more and more you just become liberal. Him. Yeah. But then I do one episode, right? I do one episode with Kenny and it just unravels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all you need is one. I think... I would do one with Christian because I always felt like we used to do like little short like s- like sketches and shit mm. on my old YouTube channel. They were pretty fucking pretty goofy. Christian's a cool guy. We did He's, one about high school fights and what your like tips for high school fights. I actually remember that. Yeah, that one was classic. And then there's a bunch of outtakes, like a bunch of bloopers for it because <clears throat> we couldn't get through it. It was like him basically trying to get you through a high school fight. And saying like you're not allowed to kick, and how you have to his, his tip was sit sit down and run away. Like that was yeah, his. Yeah. Main. <laughs> I'm, like we improv the whole thing, so like he just kind of came up with that somehow. Mm. And I don't know how sit and run is gonna like where he came up with sit and run, because how can you sit and and run at the same time? Crab walking make any sense. Yeah, I guess, but it's a good strategy. Well, crab running. If you did that, like they wouldn't. I mean, you'd get away. If you crab walk towards somebody while fighting them? Yeah. Like, there was... I watched a video today of just a dude who was, like... They were dancing in, like, a club or whatever. And some dude, like, brushed up against him. And then this dude rages out and just knocks the guy out. Knocks down, like, another dude. Like, just completely regardless of who these people are. (laughs) Just starts throwing at anybody. Knocks out, like, four people, at least. Hits good, solid contact on, like, a couple of them, you know? Like, yeah. squares them up. I mean, he was he was piecing them up left and right. But I, the first guy that dropped, I'm pretty sure died because he was out cold pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty hard. I never understood that, though. How can you rage that hard and just start throwing indiscriminately at people? <laughs> like, it's kind of, it's kind of, you're kind of an asshole, you know? Like, you're on that asshole borderline. Can you see my eyes through these shades or no? <laughs> what? Why does that matter? Well, I want to know if you know that I'm looking at you or not. Or if I can like look No, I just else. assume you're not. Well, I am. See? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> my eyes are wide open. <laughs> Constantly. My eyes are open. <clears throat> I think... Um, I think... A funny one, like, and this isn't worst as in, like, it'd be awful, but just as far as chemistry goes, I think a funny one would be you, but with one of my friends that's been on that you don't know, <laughs> like, like Jared, if it was just you and Jared, yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, like, we figure each other out. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you need, is people figuring each other out. Because I think he's pretty, he's a really cool guy, and he does want to be on again. I saw him the other day. Um, I mean, you had a strong 40 minutes, though. Yeah, he gave us probably the best 40 minutes of my life. (laughs) That's pretty intense. (laughs) Besides uh, when SU won the championship against Kansas in 03. That was a pretty solid 40. Right. But uh, he said next time he's going to like make sure he doesn't have anything going on because he forgot about that guy that he has to take to the gym. How come that guy couldn't go to the gym himself? Because... He's fat. Oh, yeah. Shit. Well, good for him going yeah. to the gym. You know, solid move. I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do it. <laughs> but um, yeah. I don't know. The gym is overrated, man. Zamaya wants us on again too. We should be on Zamaya's. Oh, he wants us on. 
his show. Yeah. But he has a guest. How are we going to get four people in that he room? A, yeah. Or not, he has a, a co-host, co-host is what I meant to say. Yeah, he is a permanent guest. Just <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Greg Turkleton. <laughs> Wait, Turking. Yeah, Turkleton. Turkle- from uh, On Cinema, at the cinema. I'm Tim Heidecker, joined by my special guest, Greg Turkington. Yeah. We're supposed to see him and Eric next week. I don't know if I can afford it. I don't think I'm going. I've already seen I've already seen him. I've already seen him. I I do. I would love to go fucking see I uh, I would love to go to that Boston show, that Foo Fighters uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. Yeah, good one. That is wild. That's like three days. <clears throat> yeah. I saw the Chili Peppers once, and we got average seats at Key Bank, and they were over 250 a piece. Mm-hmm. With it those was, two bands, like you're not getting anywhere near the stage. No. And it's I don't think it'd be worth it. The cost. It'd be worth to go, but the cost is the problem. Yeah. Like if it wasn't so expensive... It'd be like a steal. Yeah. But how come they don't just do like a private show? Why don't they thing? just do? Yeah. Why don't they? Why don't the Chili Peppers and the Foo Fighters have like an OnlyFans account? Yeah. Or like a premium <laughs> Snapchat where we could yeah. just like watch them. Or we could get them to do like, uh, what's that fucking app that everybody was using for like, oh, uh, Cameo? We'll just have them do a Cameo. Is that still a thing? I don't know. Does it? Does it exist? I have no I idea. I don't remember. I don't know. We should get on it though. That's yeah. the way to go. I was thinking of form spring. <laughs> form spring, yeah. Just bullying. What was the other one? There was another one that was like that. Omegle. No, no, no. It was one where you post questions or you, peep, you people like anonymously um, like ask you questions and you answer them. But um, uh, it was just Reddit? like straight bullying, <laughs> dude. Reddit, Reddit is AMA. so stupid. <laughs> I got so annoyed with it today. Well, I get annoyed with it every day. I don't even know why I go on. I pretty much only go on there because of sports. Yeah. Like, because that's the fastest way to get all your sports news. Like, it's the NBA trade deadline. I wish you could follow a bunch of subreddits, but then, like, curate your feed to only be... Like these subreddits, like you should well, be you like can. the ones that That's your favorite your should be. Oh yeah, should be like yeah, your home page. My issue right now is because like I I scroll through and I'm like, oh okay, this is all stuff I want to see, and then like wicked annoying shit. Like I really don't care. Like I like the subreddit, but I don't give a shit about like this yeah. guy's dog or some shit. Like I had to <sighs> unsubscribe from the Lakers subreddit because literally still. There's like five or six posts a day that get like five or ten thousand upvotes of Kobe, and yeah. it's like Liter- it'll just be the title will just be literally just a picture of Kobe Bryant, and yeah. then it'll be seventeen k, seventeen k upvotes, and it's like yeah, whatever. Um, there was a thing that I thought was funny, and it was like, who are who are the who are the most um, fuck? It was like. Who are some uh, idolized people in all of human history that actually aren't as good as people think? And, like, the number two answer... And, like, the the number one and two answers were both Donald Larry Trump the cable guy. and... <laughs> <laughs> Dan Whitney. <laughs> it was Donald Trump and Hillary, and my first thought immediately was for both of them was like neither of those two are even in the like they've never had a single MVP. not even in the same like plane of existence yeah. as some of the worst Seriously. fucking bad people of all time yeah and how many all-star games has trump been in you know none zero time zero all pro zero time all pro he's no sasha gray no he's more like um they should have like, a presidential more like hall a of Molly fame. Jane. They should have a presidential hall of fame. What do you they, think? That would they, be sick. They do. Yeah, it's called. It's called the, the Republic. President. It's called the Republican Party. <laughs> 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 no, the Whig Party is where it's at, dude. Yeah. Pickle Party. The Pickle Party. <clears throat> um. 
but yeah and i was like fucking and then like the number three answer was christopher columbus and i'm like but everybody knows he was dog shit yeah but we, that's yeah that's and then it was like oh julius caesar and it's like but he wasn't even what yeah what are we talking about it's like he made Cleo- little caesars cleopatra and it's like who are these people like you're naming people that everybody learned about when we were 14 and then immediately it clicked and i was like oh yeah that's right reddit is literally for high schoolers yeah people that we learn people that are learning things at age 14 yeah is what it is because i made my account my account is like nine years old so i made it when i was no yeah nine years old i made it when i was 14 i didn't i wasn't even into it I, i got into it like five years ago maybe when i got into it and this is going to make me sound like such a get off my lawn kind of guy. But when I got into it, it was so nice because it was not very publicized. Yeah. Back there in was, my day. There were. Yeah, exactly. There were there were no ads and there like memes weren't that big yet. And there wasn't an app. There was no app for Reddit. You had to be on a computer to be on it. Yeah. There was no mean, app until like three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I there mean, there like, were like some like third party, party ones, yeah. but still bacon like reader, dude. Yeah. Bacon, bacon reader. reader was the shit. I mean, that came out even when I was like 17, but, um, it was really cool because you would go on and find like informative articles and like cool, uh, talk to people. Like it was just, there were no copy pastas. There was no memes. It was all, and now it's all memes. It's literally it's just memes. memes. And even the sport subreddits are memes it's now. It's fucking st- like it's so annoying. But that's the dude. way like all the entire internet has gone that way too. Like even news networks will be doing memes pretty yeah. soon. And like I and I know 4chan gets a bad rap, but I've been going on there since I was like eleven, which explains quite a bit. But um, you can't. I can't even go on there anymore because it's just. There's no creativity it's, yeah, it's on, any, on either of those websites. Like, and those were two of my favorites to go on just to scroll through and read what people were talking about. And now it's like, I go to like the NBA or the NFL or MMA subreddits and I read the articles and I don't even look at, I don't even look at the comments. I don't, I refuse to. Like, yeah, um, it's kind of like the, just a hub for those articles, basically. Right. The only subreddit that I'll read the comments for is the college football one, because that was that was one of the first ones I was subscribed to that I was really into for a long time. That was back in high school, and I was soup like way, way, way more into college football than I am now. But the inside jokes were just so good. And every now and then I'll be like, oh, shit, that's like a fucking joke from like 2010. Yeah. And that's so funny to me still. Well, the thing is, like, even the like the comments on Reddit now are mostly just puns. Like the top three will just be puns or like something about (laughs) Calvin Benjamin. (laughs) Yeah. It's like I don't even I don't know. And the game threads are just a mess because it's just everybody. blaming they're trash. They're trash, dude. The hockey subreddit is fun. But all they do is bitch about the commissioner of the NHL. Um, I'm excited about the Angels. Like, they signed Jock Peterson. Uh, like, they pulled a couple pitchers. And they also got um, Anthony Rendon. So, Mike Trout, Anthony Rendon. And Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson, Andleton Simmons. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that's cool. Holes is still playing. That's 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 the perfect squad for a wild card finish. They need they need yeah. Well, that's the thing is they needed to add pitching. I think they still yeah. do need to add pitching. I think they could do really well. I just don't see anybody beating the Dodgers or the Yankees right now. Yeah, the Red Sox just killed themselves, which is amazing. I'll drink to that. Fuck Boston. I'll drink to that. But I've always been a secret Angels fan ever since we've been friends for the past year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I always like I always liked Vladimir Guerrero. Whenever I made a new uh, team, yeah, Vladdy. Uh, whenever I made a new team on Two uh, K Sports Hit Two Thousand Seven Classic, yeah. the Bigs, yeah. which uh, is the only baseball game that is better than the original Super Mega Baseball. By the way, by the by, 
That game was so fucking crazy. You could like do backflips off of the, off of the fucking, uh, what do you call that? The wall. Is that just the wall? The wall. The outfield wall. <laughs> yeah, the outfield wall. You could do like backflips off the outfield wall and like catch people's home runs and shit. Yeah, it's cool. And the ball would be on fire if you hit yeah. it hard enough. <laughs> Dude, it was like NBA Jam, but for baseball. And I don't remember any other games being like that. Yeah. At least back. Well, I mean, I was like ten, so I don't know. And I didn't really like. Well, I liked baseball a lot, but I remember uh, the. We've talked about this game before, but the coolest thing about that game was when you did the season mode. You would play uh, like a five. Depending on the difficulty, it was either a three game or a five game series against every team. And if you won the series, you got to steal one of their players. But if you lost the series, they would steal one of your players. Yeah, that's cool. And it was it's so like, sick. It's like Galactic Conquest. Yes, <laughs> dude. And like by the end of the season, it would be like the Yankees versus the Cardinals, and they would just be all star teams. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember my the first team I would play every year would be the Mariners, and I'd immediately take Ichiro. And I and the positions were interchangeable. Like you could like so I would have like Ichiro and Derek Jeter and A Rod play in the outfield because they had the best fielding, which is retarded yeah. because Jeter and A Rod I mean, would not be speed. I guess you yeah would, is what you'd want optimally. But I remember like always taking Vlad Guerrero, fucking Bobby Abreu. Well, he was already on the Yankees then. Um, Jermaine Die was like an MVP the year before, so he was like maxed out. Mm-hmm. Like I think the best player in that game was Vlad Guerrero, though it was either him or Pujols. Yeah, I would just do home run derbies with him. Yeah, that Fuck. which is wild to me because didn't Jock Peterson win the the derby this year? Yeah, he did. So like, wow, we're just pulling the guy from the derby that just won it, and we're also pulling. We also have the MVP of the league. So right, I like the lineup that they have now. I'm excited. Did you see the thing that they're doing where um? Dodgers and Yankees fans are going to uh, the season opener for the Angels to, just to boo the Astros. Is that what they're doing? That's literally what they're doing. I don't remember if we're playing it in Houston. It's, I think we might be in Houston. Uh, or is it in LA? It's in LA. Oh, boy. Yeah. Dude, there's players on the... Yan- okay, that's the other thing. Is the Yankees sub... Like, baseball, the subreddit is perfect. Yeah, Honestly, like it's a wicked right. good. But the Yankees subreddit is literally like the Yankees fans that live in LA are setting up Airbnbs just for that game. <laughs> and like, it's real. Like, Watch us lose. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> yeah, but they're called, it's because they're stealing signs. <laughs> Dude, that shit is seriously like the fact that that the punishment, as far as we know, for this sign stealing thing is over with is absolutely heinous. Right. Yeah, it is the, wasn't a punishment really. No, all they all the Astros did was fire their own guys. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I mean, Altuve gets an an MVP or two MVPs and two World are Series. They, what are they going to do though? Are they they're not going to ban trash they cans should, in the They in should the, suspend the players. No, they should ban trash cans so that the guy in the center field can't go Every time <laughs> it's so stupid. Every time there's a fastball, <laughs> I really it, like, and I, even as a Yankee fan, like I'm not even it's too upset about the fact that they lost in the ALCS because I'm just happy. Like, legitimately, I'm just glad that they made it that far because they weren't supposed to. Yeah, that's how I feel about Green Bay this year. Right, and um, I think it's just insane that they're like oh yeah we're going to suspend or the MLB is going to suspend and fine the GM and the coach or whatever or the what is it the GM and the yeah, just just fire what, them. the front office and then the Astros like oh fuck that we're going to fire them yeah it's and like, it's like, like no how about cancer. you how about you force them to have those positions vacant i mean right. i know they got draft picks taken away and I guess yeah, making but, a team not have a manager is pretty fucked up, but fuck you. Yeah, like draft picks matter in baseball, but not as much really. You, it's your way, like your farm system. You have a farm system, so it's totally different. Like that, yeah. the draft picks don't. Well, aren't they? They're much. getting fined a shit ton. I know that, but it, the, the Red Sox are in some deep water too, with uh, cheating. Yeah, they're gonna have to because apparently they were using like fucking drones and shit. Yeah, but that's the way to do it. You just use drones. It's just dumb. Dude. Didn't a fucking camera fall during like the one of the games? The 
like one of the football games this year, one of the playoff games, one of those cameras that's out on the line there. I remember seeing something about that, and it didn't hit anybody, luckily. But I always wondered that, like, if those fucking what if, cameras. What if it fell and that's how Kobe died instead of the helicopter? Yeah. Would that he be was, more he tragic? Was, he was on the camera, <clears throat> and the camera crashed. Who knows? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, it's very it's odd. I would not want cameras suspended above me when I'm playing. Those things are heavy as shit, probably. Well, they are cameras. Yeah. Like, even if it's only 10 pounds, that's a lot of... To fall from that height? Yeah, it's going to doink you pretty good. Well, I mean, you got a helmet on, so... It won't be so bad. Uh, He's standing up. He's playing with his... Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was making sure I had my other jewel pot on there. Oh, yeah, you got to have that. They're only like $17 or whatever. $17 a piece. And owned by the tobacco companies. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's ridiculous that they're that expensive. Yep. Well, it's because they know that it works way better. Well, the thing about the jewel is it's like it's convenient. Like, way convenient. You just charge it, and then you pop a new fucking thing in, and you, that's it. Yeah. Like, that's why that's I still convenient. use it. But, I don't know. Like, I bought it, and I was like, well, I don't know if I'm interested, because it's too expensive. Like, three packs is like 70-something dollars. Right. Or, yeah, three, three packs of, like, four pods. And the pods go, like, within two days, if you're not... Like, if you're going hard on it, it's going to last you a day. I've had a Maybe pod. Maybe less than that. I've had literally a pod burn out in one D&D session once. Well, it was one of the longer ones. Like, when we went from, like, 6 p.m. to, like, midnight. Mm. But I've literally had a pod go. I mean, it definitely gives you a buzz more than a, like, big vape like that. Big vape. But, like, I was like, what? Like, why? Why would I do this? Because it's way too expensive, and I can just... I already have this that's refillable. I can just switch the coil on it to be, a like, a tighter draw and just buy juice, which is way, 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 way cheaper Yeah, and also has more nicotine. Well, they make refillable jewel cartridges, too. <laughs> yeah, but don't they burn out? Like, they don't have coils in them. Well, they have, like, a... I don't know They why have a they, wick. Yeah, and they probably don't last long, so if you refill it... That's a loud vehicle. We haven't had one of those yeah, in a while. We haven't. I thought I was hallucinating <laughs> until you reacted. I was like, Wait, what year is this? It's been like... It's been a while. Yeah. Well, there's no cars anymore. Cars yeah, they gone. got rid of those. Yeah, the ice. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. That was the whole thing. Oh, Trump Trump said they were getting rid of cars. I had from those shades. But it's super bright in here. I like the lighting. Yeah. It's good lighting. It's the first time I've seen it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are like fucking ah, hurting. Fuck! Oh, I want to tell you the story about the fucking customer that I had. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, we're going <laughs> to have some uh, Sailor Moon. Sailor <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to have some Sailor Moon. Give me, a, give me the glass. Oh, I guess I can try it again. I don't know. Fuck. This stuff is ripe, dude. I don't want to go out there. It's, um, so we're drinking. I bought a little bottle of Sailor Jerry's original spiced rum. Um, it's sort of like Kraken, but it's not black rum. There's not as much, uh, blackness in it. Yeah, it's not as black. It's, uh, not as spiced either, right? No, it's a slightly lower proof, but my, the thing is, is like, Kraken sells so fast. Like, I've gone to that BAMES every week. Oh, and fucking. For the past, like, month. And the other one, it's always there. The one by J.C. Penny. I gotta start. We should have gone there. We there was like there. there was like twelve of those uh, big these, bottles. The, oh, like these bottles though. Yeah. Oh, like you know ones? that small bottle that I have there, that I brought for the Super Bowl. Like at for some reason at fucking Bames and the Oswego Liquors, it's like ten bucks, maybe ten or eleven. Everywhere else, are like fourteen or fifteen a piece, which sucks because Kraken is my favorite. Besides like, do you so or like. Angel's Envy, but I'm not buying that shit. It's right. fucking expensive. Oh, we were actually spot on with the Super Bowl predictions, by the we way. We totally were. 100% we had the exact score, too. Mm, I was off by seven. I had 31 to 27 
Kansas City, and it was thirty-one to twenty. And you had twenty-seven, twenty-four. You had twenty-seven, twenty-four. Bill, I think, was the most off. Bill had like forty. No, Bill had like thirty-seven, took the thirty-one. Over. He took the over for sure. Not even. We did we talk about that yet? About how that guy in Vegas he fucking gambled a hundred ten grand on the over, and the over that he bet on was ninety-five. This is the dumbest shit ever. So for seen. those of you that don't know what that means, is that this guy bet a hundred and ten thousand dollars, which is mine and yours yearly income, more than <sighs> doubled, or probably not more than doubled, but doubled, on that Super Bowl being. Basically, like forty-five to forty, or not even because it has to be over. So he's bet it on it being like, essentially, like they both scored fifty points. Yeah, almost fifty points, which has never happened. Like I think the Eagles and Patriots game was like the second highest scoring Super Bowl. I don't know why you would think that was going to happen. Well, he probably could have pissed that money away, and he, he totally pro- did. Yeah, or he was just drunk. You know, that's a thing too. Like, people get drunk. You know what I mean? <laughs> I for sure want to go to the casino. We got to go to the casino and do a... We'll do, like, a live stream. We'll do a live stream at the casino. <laughs> We're, we'll play the nickel slots, see if we win big. One of the nurses I was talking to was talking about how she goes to the casino and... um she only sh- she only goes with 50 bucks and once that 50 is gone she's out and i'm like she goes you should do that and i'm like mm, right but the thing is is once my 50 bucks is gone i'm just going to get 50 more I'm dollars just gonna spend <laughs> another, yeah cuz you know you have more money so yeah so I'm going to dedicate this drink to the Red Sox destroying themselves, literally trading away probably the best player they've ever had since Teddy Williams, mm. just because mm. the owner wanted to save money on the luxury tax. Because mm. it was going to be like a lot of money to keep him because yeah, they were super over the tax. But it's amazing to me that you can be – a billionaire and be worried about sixty million dollars. If it was even that much, I don't know how much the luxury tax would have been for bets. But I don't know. Maybe you wanted to buy something, you know. This is the thing, and it's very sacrilegious of me to say this. Apparently, to older Yankee fans, like the ones that I talk to at work about this, because they've been Yankee fans since the Dodgers were like in Brooklyn and like a big rival. Maybe I don't even know if they were still in Brooklyn then, but. The Yankees and Dodgers had, like, a huge rivalry for the longest time and still do to a lot of older people. And I was like, you know what? I'm glad Betts is out of Boston, and I hope he does well in L.A. And you would have thought that I said, man, I hope Trump kills all the Jews. Yeah, Like, they got so mad at me when I said that. (laughs) And I'm like, no. Like, I'm glad that he's gone because... Fuck you. Yeah, you might as well be holding one of those God hates fags, uh... (laughs) <laughs> Science. Yeah, it just says Trump hates Jews, <laughs> and then it's got like a, <laughs> it's got like a like Pepe the Frog on the back. Yeah, yeah. Pepe Sylvia. Pepe. Who's Pepe <laughs> Sylvia? I got boxes full of Pepe. But yeah. So two Boston's drink to uh, blowing it up. Col- Colby Bryant. Colby Byrant. Kobe to Kobe. It's to like, Colby. Like ten days late, but to Colby Covington. Like two weeks late, I think. Mm. Well, all of our shit was late. True. Our Kobe like thing was behind. late. Our fucking Super Bowl thing was late. It's whatever. Ooh, that is spicy. Oh, it does burn a little, huh? That's a lot rougher than um. I remember. <laughs> shit. I remember there was this girl I used to hang out with, and the first night we ever hung out, she um. I was working at the manor still. Mm-hmm. And she, she... Picked, she picked me up from the manor. Oh, I thought we... you were going to say you're like eight year, like eight year scrum or something. Like your, like later, your later she did. But um, she picked me up from the manor and we were on our way to her apartment. And uh, she's like, do you want to get a, or do you want a drink? And I'm like, sure. 
And she goes, well, under your seat is a bottle of Sailor Jerry's. She goes, but this <laughs> what power- the fuck is this? The Oprah Winfrey <laughs> show? She goes, but but in this uh, in this Powerade bottle is uh, is uh, Sailor Jerry's and Coke. If you want that instead, yeah. okay. And I immediately and you look around. Like, you're like, you're on Ellen. Immediately, I was like, <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is this girl? Like, I had only ever texted her, and she was like, yeah, there's a bottle of rum. Under your seat, and I'm what, like, what, all right. Wait, so you were where? What seat were you? I was in her car. So okay, so she just did she prepare the bottle? Was she it a picked. Full bottle? No, she's an alcoholic. Oh, so she had a bottle of rum well, under her she oh, under shit. the passenger seat. I just so, she picked me up in her car. So she did lick your taint. Is what yeah, you're but anyway, so I'm like, all right. So I grab the bottle and I take a swig and I put it back. She goes, "What'd you put it back for?" She goes, "I need some." As we're driving down, like, <laughs> as we're driving Hell, down yeah. the highway, yeah. like, I'm like, uh, hit me. Hit me. <laughs> and then like, we get back to her apartment and I, and I'm not even shitting you. I grab the bottle and I go to bring it in. She goes, what are you doing? I go, oh, I'm bringing the bottle. And she goes, no, leave that one there. I have some in the house. That one's for in my <laughs> car. Yeah. That one's for when I'm driving. Dude, she was the craziest girl I ever met. Oh, shit. The craziest girl I ever met. We fucking get to her house, and um, <laughs> we were, like, we were like smoking a bowl, and uh, she... <laughs> She fucking pulled up like she's like, oh, I just watched. I just found this wicked. Like I was watching this wicked funny YouTube video. All these YouTube videos before you got before I got gotcha. you. I was like, okay. And she like pulls it up, and it was like some stupid fucking ass on Albit from like two thousand four. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this girl is like. Those are the good ones. The wild, old four, dude. The old it was so four weird. SNL. But I, I like lost it. Like in, internally, I lost it at the fact. Like, no, leave that bottle in there. I have some more in my house. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dangerous. What kind of car was it? She driving like a sedan? Uh, it was like a, it was a, it was a Mitsubishi, it was a Mitsubishi something. It was like a Mitsubishi SUV. Oh, shit. It was a nice car. Huh. The the funniest part was the fucking the the inner the the middle screen was like the GPS, like the big full screen GPS and it was fucking destroyed, like spider webbed. And I was, yeah, it was probably from all the drinking, <laughs> all the heavy drinking, drinking. And driving. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's wild. <laughs> it's not safe. Definitely, do- Fuck. Is not I nice. remember, I remember, uh, like three months after that. Not even. It was like within a month or two after that. Um, I get a text message from a number I didn't have in my phone. And she goes, uh, she goes, so did you have your fun? And I sent back, I was like, who is this? And she goes, I am so-and-so's mom. Today she just found out she's pregnant. And I was like, oh, it's not mine. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Yeah, you should have been like, all she did was lick my taint. (laughs) Yeah, all she did was lick my grundle. (laughs) (laughs) She just... (laughs) <laughs> just a quick s- it's like oh, I didn't know I didn't know you could get pregnant from eating my ass like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a dog in the, drinking water what a fiend that's fucking <clears throat> crazy to me dude so she was people. like dicking down she was getting oh dick. she was getting dicked down yeah, like yeah, a yeah, lot like, but she was also a drunk lot. in her car <laughs> a, like, lot. a lot of the time yeah she was giving foot jobs from the fu- fucking <laughs> from the driver's seat yeah <laughs> <laughs> To every guy that hops in, they got. That's why she had the bottle under there, just because so they could drink. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. You're looking a little that's tense. A <laughs> Here, drink this rum and let me jerk you off with my toes. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just jack off yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going uh, 95 down the fucking highway. Have you ever done that? What, jack it, as a girl, off? has a girl ever asked you to jack off in front of them? Uh, no. What am I, Louie? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, I don't think so. Weird. No, you usually just do it. <laughs> you usually just do it without them asking. That's what Louie did. <laughs> yeah, without them asking. <laughs> Fuck. Well, yeah, you don't have to ask either. 
I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I, like, I don't like know masturbating why. in front of somebody. Well, why the? Well, it's more weird that it they got would ask off, you it got to them do off. It. Yeah. Well, now like, the I, I've had a. Now, did they want you to jizz on them, or was it like a? It was more like get, get like, like where was the jizz ending up? Is where I'm asking. In your hand, like in the no, it was hand. ending up like in something in, in her. Oh, in her. But like it was just weird. Okay. It's it's weirder now because I thought you'd be like, oh yeah, tons of times, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> so I like I feel like I'm alone, <laughs> like I'm like lost in an IKEA right now. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know where well, to go. Someone from out here. there, someone out there has had to have had it. <laughs> like, happen. but really, it's never happened. No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so say it's ask just, it's me, a, ask me to jack off is what you're saying. They yeah. Mean, no, I don't think so. They're like, hey, can you like how about you, can you jerk, jack off can like, you jack off real quick? <laughs> how about you can jerk, you go ahead? How about you jerk off in front of me? Yeah. Like that's never You know, what, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and jack <laughs> off. <laughs> were they butt naked or were they Yeah. Oh, okay. Or well, eventually. They were like doing like a strip tease sort of thing. <laughs> oh, okay. That's oh well, that's a little better. Because I can't no, reach, I can't like, reach from here, so you're gonna have like, to. It's not like we were sitting there like watching a movie. Yeah. And she's just like, "All right, you know what? This movie sucks. How about I watch you jerk off?" Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Well, it's like how they analyze like where where your sweet spots are. You know what I mean? Like those Doctor Scholl's things that you step on that tell oh. you where your feet are more stressful. Yeah, you, that gives you like a template of what, yeah, yeah, what yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I see. It's not a bad idea, though. I mean, it's a pretty good idea. Yeah, it. it was kind of weird, but it was fun. Because, like, who has better technique than yourself? Yourself, right? Right. Like, you know what you got to do Yeah, to get it to work. But the angle's different, too, because your hand's coming down from the top. Right. You see what I mean? Right. Do you go... Now, are you, like, a strong grip? Is it, like, a stronger grip, or is it, like, a... I'm like a death grip. So a grasp, hold the skin, move it type thing. Mm, yeah. Because I've, I've graduated to that. Yeah. Um, I think like when I was younger, it was more of like a raw sort of situation. Never really used lube though. No, we talked about this. I've, I never really used it either. No, that's not the one you want to do. And it's weird. I was, I was talking to Dan and Wes about this a couple nights ago. Like lotion and such? I, yeah, I was I was fooling around with this girl a couple weeks ago where she had this... She went to a pure romance party, which, you know what that is? No, that sounds awful. <laughs> it is awful. <laughs> it's really bad. It's this fucking stupid shit that white women do where they like... Drink one wine of them, wine. yeah. One of them buy, yeah. One of them buys uh, <laughs> a ton of like sex toys and like lubricant and stuff like that, and then like they try to sell it to each other. Okay. It's like an Avon thing. Oh, you know so that? they're like pitching. They're making. Yeah, pitches. yeah. It's like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Do they have like a like an easel and they stand up in front I, of it? I and they bet you the pages? they do. <laughs> it's like Dimitri Martin with the large yeah, pad. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. I bet they do. They have like a PowerPoint and stuff. Yeah. But, like, this girl had... They're all um, drinking wine. They have headaches. They're crying and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, my husband won't jack off in front of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, perfect. Throw these fucking caltrops at him. That'll get him going. <laughs> but um, she had this lube that was... It was called, like... It was... I think it was literally called deep-throating lube. Mm. And it was this stuff that you, like... You take, and it was so weird, because wait, I had, it's for the person doing it. It's for the it person, uh, yeah, performing the action. She would take it and she put it on my dick, and it's like a numbing agent, so you can deep throat dick. But all it did was make my dick numb. So like she's going like you know nose to belly like yeah. <laughs> going deep. Not that there's much there, but still, like, going all she's the way down. All of three she's and going a half. Three and a half. Like, all three and a half. <laughs> all three and a half kernels of dick. <laughs> but, like, all it did was make it numb, so I couldn't even enjoy the fact that she was deep so throating So it's supposed me. to numb her It's supposed uh, to numb reflexes. her throat. Yeah. But it's like... Just don't gag. Just don't gag. Like, just, <laughs> just drink. Drink more rum. Like, I just, it was fucking weird. And then, like, the worst part was that um, I remember I went home 
the next morning and I went to take a shower and I got out of the shower and I like couldn't get the smell of that lube mm. off of my crotch. Yeah, it's just wafting up constantly. Oh my God. And it smelled like fucking old candles. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> it was awful. There's a lot of weird shit. Like I've never ventured into the toys game, you know. There's a lot of toys and, and lubes and, and uh oils and lotions. And machines. <laughs> <laughs> machines is there yeah. are a lot of machines. The bunny fucker is my favorite one. Oh. Yeah, I like the the funny one to me is the little mount thing that you put the flashlight in and you like you like <laughs> Oh, you're talking about like toys for guys. Yeah, oh all kinds I of don't toys. have any toys. I've never actually owned one. I almost bought a flashlight once and I was like, No, I'd rather get laid. No, it's like, like I'd rather spend that seventy dollars on drinks for some slut. Yeah. And it seems like the amount of like when that you just clean made me it sound out, like such a piece of shit. But I'm, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, yeah, get we get, it. get sluts drunk, yeah. fuck sluts, go home. That's pretty much how it works in your twenty three steps. Yeah, but um, like I just feel like cleaning it out afterwards is a like you just I don't know. I think it's you would regret doing it. Yeah. I mean, they make machines that give blowjobs, which is pretty sick. I've seen those. And they're like, you pay. I mean, they're under 500 bucks, probably. Which is a good deal if it works. It's a good deal if it works. That's fair. I wonder how much maintenance, though. How much How much maintenance it Imagine takes. having to call someone to fix it. Right, yeah. Like, <laughs> like your local handyman. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a little stuck here. <laughs> I'm going to need some help here. Yeah. But, um, no, I... I um I haven't ventured into BDSM really. I've been I've been tied up and I've tied women up, but that's the furthest I've gone. Yeah, so you've tied and been tied. I've tied and been tied. Right. I much prefer actually being tied. Really? Yeah. There's this weird vulnerability thing that just really I don't gets know, the I'm claustrophobic. Flowing. I don't know if I'd like it. Well, it's not like you're tied up in an elevator. You're know, tied up like, on a bed. I know, but you can't go anywhere. Yeah, like, I like the sense. option of being able to, being able to go somewhere mm. if I have to. I think the idea, like the 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 thought of them just like killing you or cutting your dick off and leaving. Yeah, that's pretty thrilling. The risk taking, <laughs> the risk, the risk taking part is what's thrilling to me. Right. But like, no ball gags, no whips, no chains, no, mm. you know, no strap ons. Yeah. Um, collars, uh, chains, uh, chains and collars. Leashes. Leashes never. are kind of hot. I would do leashes. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's a pretty simple. That'd be like four bucks. You know, you could get a leash. Yeah, or you easy. could just get like a rope. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. It might be more expensive, though. Ropes are pretty heavy duty. Or string <laughs> yarn, <laughs> yarn. <laughs> fishing line yeah you just come in with marks around your neck the next fucking day at work <clears throat> people are like what were you doing bro and that could have been anything i mean you could have been just hanging you're trying to hang yourself <laughs> you could have been <laughs> doing that uh what's that called asphyxiation yeah, that's what i first thought of yeah asphyxiation um. <laughs> oh my god You ever tried a cock ring before? No I heard they're like Not bad though I've heard I've heard they're pretty good yeah. I've been offered one I've never used I've one I've never I don't know I never had I'm usually pretty good At having boners You know <laughs> Like I'm pretty good At not having I don't know I don't need I don't feel like I don't need assistance Right Maybe one of these days Maybe I'll need assistance yeah. And then I'll get a ring. <laughs> if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> is that what that song is about? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right. I don't know. I think I think the idea that... Um, like, I, I, the idea of, uh, like, an exotic, like, uh, kinky... Fifty Shades-esque sex life just does not appeal to me, really. 
No, I see it more as like um, a fantasy. It's like a yeah, and like, also it's usually for like older couples been together for a while, getting bored of certain shit, trying to spice things up. Right. Which I mean, I don't know. I don't get bored usually. No. Three conventional positions, you know. I mean, you've been having sex with the same girl for at least the past couple months. And I still get a boner. Yeah, it's not that hard, dude. You just think about it hard. (laughs) 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 And then you're the Super Saiyan. (laughs) You you wonder if you think you think Goku gets a hard on when he fucking like actually transforms, or if it gets bigger. It definitely gets huge. And he has to tuck it up under his belt loop. He doesn't have a belt, I guess, does he? Well, he has the blue one. He has the sash. Yeah. But that's tough, though. Those are like loose right. karate belt type of things. But I think, <laughs> going, I, yeah, I think the, you know, I, the, the kinky sex, I just think it's not, it's not for me. The idea of it, I enjoy. But I don't think, like, if I went to a girl's place Conceptually, and she yeah. had all of this, all these different things. Yeah, like, like shit I would hanging just, up I would on just, the walls. I would just... Like it's a, just a dungeon. I would go into the fetal position, yeah. like legitimate, like as a she man. She has like I'm dog crates. Right she yeah. has like dog crates. Yeah, yeah, and shit. yeah. She has like a dog crate. She has like it's, it's like, like suspended from four chains from the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the fridge from PT. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the elimination chamber. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like <laughs> that'd like, be wild, dude. They should do that an elimination chamber porno where like, they just release a guy from each fucking corner every yeah. like X amount of time, and then they just go to town on this one shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Randy Orton comes in and RKO's all of them. <laughs> yeah, Orton just wins it because I just like to. I don't know. It's like I like the the slow, passionate humping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like I like when the girls on top actually too. That's pretty great. Yeah. There's something special about that. Where you just don't even you're just like you're just feeling good. You don't have to do shit. You have to just yeah. hold them and make sure they don't fall off. Well there's some like positions. pushing your daughter on a swing, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, let's not bring daughters into this. <laughs> or let's bring daughters into this. Well, Other know. people's daughters. Okay, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's some positions that feel like they just wouldn't. They don't work. No, you know, like you just don't get the reverse cowgirl. I think is dumb. It's that never one's worked. over. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's hot. Yeah, it looks nice and everything. Yeah, execution wise though, it's like it's, nobody's good at it. Yeah. I've never had a no, never. I don't ever. know how you do it. You got to have somebody like. There's got to be lessons online or something, right? Yeah. There's got to be a right way to do it. Yeah. I think it takes a lot of quad strength. Yeah. And then like core strength. Yeah. You got to be able to balance yourself on that. Right. I feel like when you're doing that much work, like you don't, you're not even focused on like it feeling good. Yeah. You're just focused on the game. You're just like, yeah, you're like fucking, you're <laughs> I'm sweating. getting a pump on. You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're building that sixer. Yeah. 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 But, um, yeah, it's just uh, sex is weird, man. Yeah. It's a weird thing. Well, yeah, and it's weird because, I mean, mostly it's because of the porn industry, right? Oh my god, they've popularized yeah. everything that like isn't normal at all. Yeah, and porn is so easily accessible now. Yeah, that it's an issue. Yeah, um, Delia. I watched a video on Delia's channel today, and he was doing like crowd work. And he's like, "If you're watching, if you're paying for porn, buy." That's all he said. Because <laughs> he's like, you can just type it in; it's there. Like, it's it's so true though. Because who the fuck? I don't know. I don't. Why would you ever pay for a membership? Is is what I don't understand. You can find HD porn, right, for free. Yeah, porn. most memberships are for HD, like. 4K, dude. VR porn is where I draw the line. That's yeah. You're, that you're in way too deep with that, dude. I feel like I heard it wasn't even good. Like it's you're, like, they are just, the, uh. dude. If I had a VR headset, porn would obviously be something I did immediately. But well, well those like, like, those uh, those blowjob machines come with VR like uh, accessories. So like you can watch the video and it's like synced up to the way the thing works. Yeah. So you're getting off to watching somebody else suck the dick that. 
like like suck not your dick. Yeah, like, <laughs> some other guys larger than your penis. <laughs> oh, guaranteed, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I wonder what those guys take if they're di- they just have dick roids. You know, like if they're on like tr dick trt. You know what I mean? There's got to be performance enhancers. There's nothing better than a good old fashioned though. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you know. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. Like a good old fashioned hand job. That's yeah, they're underrated. Yeah, really underappreciated. They really are. They're great. Just fucking mashing it. Just, <laughs> like yeah. most women just mash it. Yeah. And if you're with a girl that knows what she's doing, run. <laughs> like yeah. if you're with a no, not even no. The opposite. If you're with a girl that gives a good hand job. Stay with that as long as you can because that's it's, a girl that knows what she's doing everywhere else. Because hand job is like the last thing. It's like the that's last the one you do under the bleachers. Yeah, it's like the last element of Avatar. Right, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> like well, hand jobs weird... are like fire bending. Like yeah. that's the hardest thing to master. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we're only good at it because we've been doing it since we were fucking a child. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So like that means like if a girl is gonna hand job, she's been doing it for like since she was a child. That's what I mean. It's like all a t- it's all a catch twenty two. Like if she's good at giving blow jobs, you know she's done it before, a lot. And like in a good chunk of a yeah, good yeah, chunk yeah. of experience, it's all comes from you know you gotta level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not you don't just know it overnight. You know, right? Homecoming weekend is like double XP weekend. Mm-hmm. Like uh, prom night is like. Uh, Double hand job XP, right? And you can get different skins for yeah, it. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, black, white, brown, yellow, purple, green, purple, green, camo, camo, <laughs> woodland camo, uh, digital, blue. digital red, <laughs> blue tiger, yeah. per- Persian. Per- if you jerk off a Persian guy, you get gold camo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you want is the golden one, because that means you've been playing for like that max level shit. Oh yeah, you're like fifth prestige. Yeah. That's why older women are great. Right, because they've sucked a lot of dicks. They've sucked a lot of dicks. Yeah. And they know what they're doing. And they know what they want. That's the problem with sex nowadays. Well, I guess in general, it's been a problem forever, is communication. A lot of people don't want to talk about what they like in the bedroom. You got to want what you want. Yeah. Just tell them what you want. Just don't get weird with it when it's like your first time with somebody. Yeah. Well, you can get weird with me. Like if I if it was the first time I was hooking up with a girl and she's like spit on me and call me names and I'm like, all right, sweet. Yeah, you're like a veteran. And now, then you know? slap her for good measure. Right. But like I wouldn't do that. Like I wouldn't be like spit on me, piss on me, beat me. You yeah. know. Try it out. But I think it's yeah, it's weird. Try it out. My biggest issue is I don't like being complimented in bed. I I don't like it. Like, don't fucking, like, faking orgasms, talking about how huge I am. Yeah, that is Saying my name over and over again. (laughs) Yeah, that's kind of... I don't like that. That's kind of awkward, yeah. If you're going too hard, you know? It's like, oh my God, you're so huge. No, I'm not. I know you're lying. I think that's directly a porn thing. Yeah. Like, influence. Like, I'm fine with noises and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like... Guttural. Guttural. <laughs> like... Wheezing. Like... Give me, like, a good tennis grunt every 10 seconds and I'm happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> 10 seconds. She's just counting 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6... <laughs> <laughs> yeah Jesus Christ Yeah that's tough <laughs> Well we did it We finally made it <laughs> I think I think this is funny Like it's extra funny Because we did, we've we never talked about sex That often on the show And I think it's just funnier That we're just like It's fucking stupid <laughs> Like it's It's something that we all do But it's such a It's such a Weird thing. It's also something that like everyone is constantly thinking about in some capacity, right? Yeah, like, it's so very always, relatable. Yeah. That's why female comics are funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it is like it literally is like it's fun. Yeah, like female comics tend to go for that like 
it's very specific type of humor and it's always the same, which is part of the issue that I have with it. Like they're always, it's always sexual humor. Ellen wasn't. And Ellen, she's great. good. She's very Ellen's good. great. I really like Nikki Glaser, but that's exactly what you're talking about. But it's like, yeah, like all the bigger female comics, it's like, all that same style. Like the way that people trash Amy Schumer's style is the same thing that people praise about like Eliza Schlesinger or Nikki Glaser or. I don't get the Eliza thing. I don't think she's funny at all. Like I never understood her. It's very corny. Like it's not. It's not corny, but it's like. I don't know. It's appealing to an audience that I'm not connected with. At I all. don't like the um, the whole. She does like voices that the little autistic voices. Yeah, she does. yeah. I don't know the um. I don't like the way that she perceives herself. Uh, or the way that she presents herself. Yeah, yeah. A lot, and it's not even like in a in a. It's not like, you know, do what you want, but it, don't sit like I hate the either side. Like don't go full don't go full conservative or don't go full social justice. Like I hate how fake it is. She feels like she's trying too hard is what it feels like. She acts like her stand up comedy, which is lackluster at best, is emboldening this feminist movement when most women don't even find her funny. Because all she does, like, she she brags about how she gets dicked down all the time, and then she goes on talk shows and talks about how we gotta fight the patriarchy. It's like, no, you're <laughs> fucking the patriarchy. Yeah. Like... I remember I tried to, like, watch her special... Whitney Cummings was the other one I was thinking of. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the thing, is Whitney's whole set is... You know what to expect from her, though. Like, right. And she's also wicked hot. Whitney's a little bit less... I don't know. She's less sexual than Gla- Nikki Glazer is. Yeah. Nikki Glazer's all about fucking just. That's all dicks. it is. Yeah. That's all it is. Dicks and butts. Yeah. Fingers and butts. Dicks and butts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and I think Nikki's fun. funny, but I think part of it too comes from the fact that they're attractive. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Nikki and Eliza and Whitney are both very attractive. Yeah, and I don't know if that adds to the appeal. I yeah. think it do- for me personally, it totally does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie at all. Like, <laughs> like I'm not even gonna bite my tongue on that. Like, I wouldn't watch them if they were ugly. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, if they all looked like fucking, uh, you know, Queen Latifah. Yeah. Or like uh, Mrs. Miss Pat or whatever. Yeah, Miss Pat or um. Who is that one that wore the the assless dress to the the fucking Lizzo? All right. Yeah. But then on the on the flip side, like I think Roseanne is hilarious. Yeah, Roseanne is, and she's a she has the sex appeal of a fucking helicopter crash. Yeah. Yeah. She, I think her voice is part of it. She's created a character as well. I think that's something that you can like that's the thing is some comics do create a character and some just don't and they just are themselves amplified but like when you create a character like larry the cable guy <laughs> or dice you can just go all in on it i was just even was, kinnison was a character right yeah like so it's i don't know like, but to me like if i watch segura or i watch bill burr i'm like oh that's the same guy that i just listened to on that podcast for right. three hours right um, but that's, it's it's scripted out. Like he, it's not scripted out, but it's he's rehearsed these lines. He knows what he's about to say and shit. That's the only difference. He he still feels like he's genuine. Yeah, that's an issue that I have with like Anthony Jeselnik. And it's not that it doesn't take away from the fact that I think he's one of the funniest comedians mm-hmm. right now, and probably could be all time. Jeff Ross eventually. does the same thing. Like Jeff he's Ross kind too. of a character, but but um. Anthony off mic is such a charming, intelligent yeah. guy, but he knows what he's good at. And I think that's what is the good part about the character he plays on stage. Like the, and he's the antithesis of a guy like Andrew Dice Clay, who realized he he's funny doing this character, but he isn't an interesting person. So when he would do these talk shows and interviews and radio shows, he would stay in character and then he kind of lost himself and present day. He's kind of stuck being the dice man. 
even though he's like a family man from like fucking Pennsylvania or New Jersey or whatever. Yeah. And like, that's why doesn't I listen believe I like, any of the shit that he says. That's why I really like Burr's podcast because it feels like it's just him doing stand up to right. himself. Right. I mean, he's done it on stage a couple of times, the podcast. Where, I mean, it's just him rambling, which is kind of what it feels like when you watch his special. It's just him kind of fucking going off. Yeah. Well, like we saw him live last year, and that's what it felt like, too. Yeah. I mean, he... I mean, I don't know. He's just naturally good. I think he's yeah. just naturally good. And that's the thing, too, is uh, we were talking about Jim Norton earlier, and that's kind of what The Worm does. The worm being Jim Norton himself. <laughs> um, on stage, he plays this sick, like sadomasochistic sexual deviant mm-hmm. that just does not agree with anything that society is. Which, in a lot of ways, is amplified of himself. Right. Because when he was on Rogan, well, from well, last week, from whenever this comes out, uh, yeah, he was talking about how he'd suck like all of his friends' dicks and shit, and like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait a minute. So you were kind of pushed in that direction just from your childhood, anyway. Yeah. And then so he's just gonna amplify that. He's and, a freaky dude, man. Yeah, he's a very freaky dude. Like the chip, the fact that the Chip Chipperson show has been going on for like two years now. Yeah. Is astounding. Well, what because... makes him great is because he's open about it all. Like, right. he doesn't care that everybody knows that he sucked all of his friends' dicks. And it, Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing is, like, he tells all these fucked up stories on the Chip show as Chip, but I think a lot of the shit that happened to, to Chip, quote-unquote, yeah. actually happened to yeah. him. And it's funnier if he plays it out as, like, an act. It's right. easier to deal with. I don't know. He's got some trauma, man. Yeah. I'm not going to be an armchair analyst, but it doesn't take a person with eyes, nose, ears, and a mouth and fingers to realize that Jim Norton's a fucking weird duck. Yeah, he's a, yeah. He's a character, man. For sure. He's a comedian that I, I I dove into his older stuff recently, and it's actually wicked fucking good. I'll show you some later, because it's so fucking funny. I think him and Matt Sarah are fucking awesome on that. Uh, oh, Fitzer. it's perfect, dude. <clears throat> and that's an... That's a UFC show. Like, that's an official UFC show. So they get, like, actual... Ga- like, they usually it's over the phone or whatever, but they get a lot of fucking big names in MMA. And Matt Sarah's fucking... He's awesome. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. He's the only guy that's ever beaten George St. Pierre twice in a row. Besides... Yeah, well, twice in a row, yeah. Well, no, he didn't. Did Matt he? Hughes beat him. Matt Hughes. <laughs> Matt Hughes beat St. Pierre, and so did Matt Sarah, but they... I don't think he won. Two they didn't in a win row. twice in a row. No, St. Pierre came back and beat him. I don't think either of them had a third fight, did they? Hughes mm, might have. Yes. I don't remember. Um, man, that was a sick welterweight division back then. It's a sick welterweight division now. It's dude. always a sick welterweight division. Welterweight That's why division. I love it. And and um, I don't know. We're watching Jones Reyes. Uh. This Saturday. Last Saturday. Last, Saturday. <laughs> Last Saturday. When this comes out, we we watched Jones Reyes, and it was awesome. It was a lot it of fun. It was so sick, and... dude. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we drank a lot of liquor. I got laid. <laughs> now we got to do all this. And we we got into it. But uh, I have Jones 49-46. Yeah, I'm saying 27-24, John Jones. <laughs> 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 they just all get penalized 30 <laughs> points apiece. <laughs> I just want it to be the same score as the Super I think, Bowl. I think if it goes to a decision, Jones is winning. Yeah. I'm taking the over. I say they score over 90 points <laughs> between between the two of them. It's 95, but yeah, <laughs> you're guaranteed that. <laughs> they, neither of them have defense. It's all offense, dude. No, I, I, it's John Jones. I mean, you can't. It's hard. You can't go against John Jones right now. No, and that's the thing. There's no, like, nothing that has given me any reason to say he's not going to win this fight. I mean, the last fight he struggled a little bit, but you know, you wonder how much of it was all the other shit going on, and and the lack of the fact that he didn't take Santos down at all. Right. Yeah. He refused to. He just felt like, oh, I'm not. I don't have to take him down to beat him. I'm just going to box him. That's yeah. I think that's primarily what it was. Um, and you know, you could take that against him, but he still. 
Doesn't one. matter. The doesn't w, matter. The W is what matters. Like, um, I mean, so the last three fights he's had were Santos, Smith, and Gustafson, and he barely. I would say he 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 just beat Santos. I think it was forty nine. It was close. Right. One, it was a split decision. Right. Right. Uh, unanimous or not unanimous. It was uh, a split. It was split. Like one judge, I think, took Santos. The other two took Jones. Yeah. Um, but majority decision. The thing is, is I don't think Reyes is that impressive, but I could be wrong because I was wrong about Stylebender, and I was also wrong about Usman, and I was also wrong yeah, about Kamara Ben Askren. Was, Kamara's really good, man. And I was also wrong about Poirier. <laughs> I was also wrong about Garbrandt, and I was I was also wrong about Curtis Blades, right. <laughs> like um. But anyway, <laughs> I don't think Reyes is that impressive to me. He's definitely the second best. This fighter is going to be even division. funnier if, if Jones if loses. Jones loses, <laughs> right? Because because <laughs> I'm just, just trashing Reyes right now. But I don't like. It, and he he's definitely the second best fighter in that division. I would say Jan Blahowitz. Did yeah, I say that right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. He is pretty good. And um, who is the other middle? There was another middleweight fighter that moved up um, to light heavyweight that is like Terry Cruz. Terry Cruz. Terry Cruz. <laughs> he's Terry Cruising through that division. <laughs> yeah, yes. Shit. I can't think of it now. Jerry Jones. But the thing that bugs me the most is that, uh, like, Reyes barely beat o- Ozdemir. And he beat him in, like, a, an extremely controversial decision. Mm-hmm. Extremely controversial decision. Yeah. And, I mean, when you watch that fight, you could go either way. That's right. the thing about watching it, rewatching a fight, though. If you're watching a fighter specifically, you're, like, kind of leaning towards them because you're watching right. them. You're watching the shit that they land. So being, and I'm a big fan of no time. It's tough to be a judge because you have to watch them equally, and With also an try and in screen. real time understand how much damage is being done. Yeah. And that's impossible, really, because a lot of times you'll see a fighter get hit a bunch of times. They come out of the fight and they're like, "Well, no, those really weren't like he was peppering me, with, but it wasn't doing anything. Like these are, you know, there's a difference between a stiff jab and just a jab that touches." Yeah, you know? exactly. And it's hard to tell the difference in real time a lot of times. But um especially with the adrenaline, like even if your head gets rocked back, you probably won't even feel it. Yeah. But uh, honestly, a really big part of me thinks that John's going to submit him. I mean, that'd be interesting with like a choke of some sort. Because Reyes is a really good wrestler. He's going to definitely want to challenge John's wrestling and jiu-jitsu. But John has this He's just built to do that. He is. Like, you're not going to... Unless he, unless he like, rocks John and then takes him down, even then I would still take John to either submit him from the ground or stand back up. He's going to pull guard for sure. Pull guard for sure. He's going to get him in a Darce, dude. He could get him in a Darce. He's going to get him in a, in a fucking Von Flu, dude. Could get him in a Von Vlu. I'd love to see John take him out by Jack <laughs> Japanese <laughs> by Japanese necktie. Yeah, I want to see him do like a gator roll choke or something. <laughs> yeah, just fucking rip him in half. Um, <clears throat> I think it's really funny, and this is I, I haven't told- seen one of those in a long time. That head and arm choke that you roll over. You know how it's like it's from like north south, and you like clasp your hand like this, and then you like roll. Isn't that the Von Flu? I don't think that's the Von Flu. Maybe it's similar. It's the one that o- OSP does all the time. No, no, no. It's literally like a gator roll type thing. It's from north south. So after you sprawl, you slip right. your hand under the neck like this, and then you clasp this way, and you put your hand on the back. Isn't that a, t- a, so- a certain necktie? Then, it's not a Japanese then, necktie, but it is a necktie. Yeah, I've done it like once. I've pulled it off one time, but you literally have to roll. I don't remember if you roll this way. I think you roll this way, and then you, like, walk your way forward. It's very weird looking. Like, because you're, like, on your side at the end of it. Yeah. 
Is it an Americana? No. <laughs> <laughs> is it a Kimura? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> well, I think it's crazy Anaconda, that Kore- Anaconda choke. Is it, is it Korean Zombie the only fighter to ever land a twister? Um, or it's not even Korean Zombie, but there's only ever been one twister ever finished. Yeah, that is a tough. Well, it's hard to pull that off though. Mostly because it's such an awkward spot. Literally everything has to fall in your favor for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They're backwards and they're going this way, and you're pulling from like. It's almost like a. You're not even in a back mount, really. Well, yeah, you are, right? You're in a back mount with their arm like around this way. There's yeah. some weird shit. Are you looking up the submission? Because I'm yeah. I'm it was the anaconda choke. The Gator anaconda roll. is the. Yeah, it's called anaconda gator roll or some shit. Look up and see what the, like, the last time it happened. Pull it up on the screen. Fuck the fuck the viewers. They're not even listening anyway. They they were sick and tired of me and you talking about fucking sex. Yeah, that was when they bailed. The only one listening now is Wes. Uh, oh shit, I should have watched the shorter one. We'll do like Gator Roll Choke UFC. See if it pops up. Okay, so this is the Gator Roll Choke. I want to make sure one arm is under his shoulder and the other one is under his armpit here. So yeah, it's essentially from a sprawl. Oh! And then you slip one hand under and then I think you like roll around. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking like that, scary. And now, and now you push your. You sort of walk towards him. And it doesn't okay. look like it puts much pressure on, but it really does. No, but that it just immediately closes off your airflow. Yeah, look, it does. Look up Gator Roll UFC. Uh, what happened? What happened? UFC Gator Roll. That's where it is. What happened? What happened to my thing? Uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi. What happened? Just, oh, there it is. Oh, shit. There's been one. I feel like it's been done more than that. Tony Ferguson? Tony Ferguson definitely did it. Did he? Well, I think it might just be... Look, look Anaconda Choke. Anaconda Choke. No, because that's different because he's standing over him. Have you ever seen that video of the alligator eating the fucking zebra alive? <laughs> no. no. I watched a puffer fish uh, eating a bunch of fucking... Uh, Baby fish? Like uh, uh, crustaceans. Is that the word for it? <laughs> I saw the one of the... It's the baboon eating another creature. A little character. Oh, do you have TikToks? Oh, I got like fucking millions of them. Perfect. <clears throat> I've been putting some of them on the Instagram stories, too, so people can see. And it's cool because it puts them on the Facebook stories now, too. (laughs) Oh, one second. Hang on. I just got fucking reported on Facebook. Oh, you did? For what? I don't know. I have to find out. Verbal harassment. Spam. This post goes against our community standards on nudity or sexual activity. What? What? Did you post a nude on there? No. No. Oh. What post oh, is let it? Let me fucking look it up. Well, it doesn't show you what post it is? Uh, you're not supposed to post nude on, nudes on Facebook. You can put those on Twitter. That's I allowed. Didn't. I think my friend Jeremy tagged me in something. The fuck? Really? Did you get that, banned? That gets reported? Wait, did it? It has to have been manually reported then, right? Yeah, and it was actually not even that sexual. It was just really funny. I didn't think it was that funny. I was a bit upset, actually. I almost reported it. What is this? Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> I have like nine TikToks. Uh like in total. Um, I think a couple of these I posted on the Instagram stories. 
like the guy breaking the egg with his with his muscle. <laughs> that one's fucking hilarious. There, uh, I tagged you in the post that got fucking reported because I just reposted the reported post and tagged. You should just screenshot the reported post. I did, and then post it. Again. I did. No, I. That's what I. That's literally what I did. You're gonna get banned. All right, here we go. Let's see what this fella has to say. I'm glad to see Carson Wentz is still finding work in the off season. Yeah, well, that's Jesse Hardy ninety two, so you can look him up if you want. This guy's pretty cool. Hey guys, so my neighbor was throwing this in the trash. So guess what, guys? I got this. Look what I did to it. This was this was in the trash on my neighbor's house. See this? I got that. I have my TV here. I have my movies. and my everything set up. So that's like his setup or whatever. I guess is that what he's trying to do? I'm not sure. I couldn't. It's hard to follow. I think he was trying to flex on us. That was tough to follow. That one was. Man, let me wait, wait. No, 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 no. Let me pour a fucking drink. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Take I a break real quick. Right well, I don't know that. So that first guy, I mean, he was going hard. I didn't know what he was saying. I, I think he was trying to do a song of some sort. Right. Pretty good. He was on like his pitch was on. Right. Uh, second guy, he was talking about his movies and like his entertainment center. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a general synopsis. Is this so your far. grandma? This is a grandma, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ownership. You don't fucking have to come on my fucking things and be fucking rude and stuff like that when I do a fucking video. If you don't fucking like it, just go buy it. Don't fucking say shit. I mean, she's got a point, so, though. Yeah. I support you at I like Lena her. Bulu Dell. Uh, mm. At L E N A B U L L O D E L L. Yeah. Everybody listening, go talk shit to her on TikTok. Fuck that old con. Lena Get Bull the fuck off your Odell. phone. Go fill out your fucking epitaph. Yeah, so I mean, what I'm gathering is like she's been getting a lot of hate, you know, in her comments. Section. I wonder why. She seems super bitter for no reason. Is this her first time on the internet? I don't know. Maybe she That was just... rhetorical. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's mad just because people were getting mad at her, you know? Yeah. You got to know who started it. Though. Dude, if she had a nose question. piercing, everybody would respect her. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I beat the game. I beat it. Put my sword. Yes, I am the champion. The champion of the Pokemon Sword. These are my Pokemon. Go me. I'm the champion. I like that. I really <laughs> yeah, like that one. That That's cool. very wholesome. He beat Pokemon Sword, so and I haven't even done that. Well, no, I just like that. Like that's pure I like, joy. I like that's that, dude. Joy. That's fucking awesome. Actually, yeah. was I supposed to laugh at that? No, it's just he's showing you his Pokemon. The ones that he. I feel like you thought I was gonna laugh at that because he has Down syndrome. He does. He definitely does, or he's just Sicilian. No, I didn't even notice. I'm gonna watch that again. Then I, I don't think he has Down syndrome. Does he? I beat the game. I beat it. Put my sword. Yes, I am the champion. Oh no, you're right. He's the just champion Sicilian. Champion of the put my sword. Yeah, he looks like a regular guy. These are my dude, Pokemon. That's so awesome. Go me. I'm the champion. I'm so proud of him, dude. He's the that's champion awesome. now. So. No, like that's joy that we'll never get. Like oh, yeah, sober, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, like, not <laughs> even, not even, not sober, right? <laughs> like that's just so. Like I, I, I haven't been okay. I'll, I'm gonna lie. Um, I was about to lie. I have the last time I was that excited beating a game for myself was when I beat um, uh. I can't think of one. Yeah, I can't think of one either. I haven't been that excited in a long time. I. Maybe it's been Pillar, a long time. Pillars like, of Eternity might have been the last time I was that excited over a game. I think it would probably be like Star Fox sixty four or something. So when I was Jesus, a kid, you dude, know? you gotta go to therapy. <laughs> like, like, I don't get that. Pillars over came out for me. Well, for everybody, that was twenty fifteen. Yeah, so but I don't get that excited. Ago. 
I got really excited people. when I beat Pillars, dude. That was a 70-hour journey with me and a bunch of my companions, and we fucking beat the big bad. Oh, you know what? Maybe you should play more Japanese games. Uh, I I felt pretty good when I beat DMC five. Not gonna lie, Gears five was sick when we beat that. They, not, not 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 only did you and I beat that, like I beat it separately, then we beat it together. But the best was when we beat it with Zamaya, mm-hmm. and we just shit talked him for letting uh, JD die. Remember that? Oh man, I know there's gotta be some games where I failed at the boss multiple times and then got excited about it. But to that level, I don't know. Bloodborne? You never played Bloodborne. You never liked Bloodborne. Wait, is that the original Star Wars Battlefront over there? Yeah, actually, Star Wars Battlefront is free on Games of Gold. Yeah, not till the 14th, though. But is that the original one right there? Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the original um, new one. This chick's back, by the way. Far. Oh, shit. I like her, though. Glioblastoma. Oh, crap. Crap, I don't have an idea. I don't have an idea to reveal that I'm a virgin. But oh well. (laughs) I am a virgin. And I will be... I will stay a virgin until marriage or to someone <laughs> that's the right one for me comes along. It's very respectable. Oh! <laughs> it's really it's really admirable that she's announcing a permanent abstinence like on TikTok. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. She is, dude, she, look at her. And Come I on. Say, I gotta say, like, I probably, if I had to guess whether she was a virgin or not, I'd probably <laughs> be leaning towards the yes column, you know? So I don't know if she needed to announce it or whatever, which is probably why she had no way, like, no idea how to announce it or whatever. That is an ugly, I just that love, is an ugly human. I, I'm sorry. That's just fucking I don't know. I kind of like her. I just me. think it's like no. She, it's it's she just it, she looks like she's always struggling to breathe. You know? She literally looks like Ross from Monsters Inc. Like yeah, if you put yeah. her in the machine from the fly and threw like dead dead human skin cells in there and flip the switch, and you got fucking slug woman with fucking human DNA. That's what you get. You get a fucking fat twenty two year old version of the <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> just, I just have a photo of Vinny. Uh, now, for those who don't know, do you remember when we would just every Facebook thing we would just throw that in there that, yeah. for like a year? We just relentlessly cyber bullied him, yeah. like, I'm but he's still him. he's still that guy. Like, yeah, he's exactly the same. <laughs> I'm going to tell my kids that was Chuck Liddell. I'm going to tell my kids <laughs> that that was their uncle before he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is this is Vinny, um, who was actually going to be here tonight. But he was supposed to be here tonight. Uh, this is him in his Iceman shirt. And this has been posted thousands of times like, on Facebook. Like, any of the, like specifically Wes right now knows exactly what picture we're talking. Yeah. Like, Wes. I'm going to put it on there because we have Good. <laughs> okay, this is the guy with the egg. He oh breaks my it God. With his muscle. Oh, uh, there we go. Everybody can break an egg with your hand. Can you break an egg with your muscles? Just your muscles. With just his muscles. Your muscles? Here we go, buddy. In three, two, one. Nah. But that was too easy. Oh, great. Now I got to clean up this mess. Oh, man. What do you think? Dude, that entire time I thought he had like a helmet on, but that's just his head. Yeah, no, he's got a. I mean, he's a decent head. I mean. I'm not worried about his head. I'm just like, I don't know how he broke the egg with his muscle. Only his muscle. 
you know. It's kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's. Tough. I think he would fuck. Uh... The, oh, the last one, yeah. Yeah, Which, Vinny. <laughs> oh, Vinny. No, I don't know about that. Oh, this rap god guy is back. No way! Nice ass. This is this is. I don't. This, he said this was his workout. <laughs> I'm gonna start screaming. Yeah. So that one's not even him rapping. That's just him showing his like workout. I thought that was cool. I had to say that one. Uh okay, this guy. This guy wants a black girlfriend. I think I put wait, this Wait, 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 on. hang on, hang on. So so I put on Facebook a screenshot of the post that got reported. And that post just got reported. So I'm gonna repost the screenshot the of the screenshot, screenshot of the screenshot. Oh. Well, you have to, yeah. Do I'm banned from Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> what? They banned you? You can't post or comment for 24 hours. This is because four of your previous posts didn't follow our community. St- it was only two, you cunts. Four of them? It was just two of them. Someone's I'm just, just going to text Jeremy right now. I think someone's just reporting you on purpose. Good. Like I you're getting, probably You're getting it. doxxed. Yeah, Robbie Rotten doxed me. Well, so much for that. No more memes. So, this one was on the uh, <coughs> Instagram story. <coughs> it's this guy. He wants a black girlfriend, 18 plus. Yeah. I, this big age, and I saw nice, this because I, I thought I knew the guy. They, I don't know. They... they I'm just telling him about them, I guess. But if you brought the other way, can you hook me up? Yeah. So more or less, all he said was that he's turned down by black girls. And if you're a black female under 18, This is like, uh, oh, wait. Hey, remember? Finish the TikToks, and then I have to talk about how how I'm positively racist. Okay. (laughs) Wait, who's this guy? Is this Avery? Hey guys, a lot of people have been calling to saying the N word. What is the N word? What are you guys saying? What, 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 what N word are you meaning? Also, which video would you like me to do one of these? Which one of these guys do you want me to do a video with? Superman or Batman? <laughs> this TikTok, I really like this one because this guy had really covered all the bases. He really did. He so covered like, racism. Yeah. And superheroes. Superheroes, yeah. Like, he, well, that's pretty much Marvel's cinematic universe in a nutshell. Right. Did you see the thing they talked about it on Joe Rogan with the uh, the petition for Brie Larson to step down from being Captain Marvel? Oh yeah, I saw something about which that. which is yeah, like, cause... I don't know if we, if I've criticized Brie Larson at all, which I don't watch Marvel movies, so I probably haven't, but. Somebody will probably dig something up eventually. I don't even that... know who that is. Wait, <clears throat> let me look that up real quick. She's like, she's a B-R-I-E? pretty... B-R-I-E? Yeah. Right there. Brie Larson. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, you're banned from Facebook. Um, She played Captain Marvel, like, very well, but to a fault. Like, Captain Marvel is this <clears throat> superhero that doesn't exactly... I don't recognize her from anything. Um, I don't think I'm on her subreddit because she's been naked a couple times, but huh. well, she, she was, um, <clears throat> she was infamous for saying like, uh, she said something to the, to the, to the tune of, uh, like, uh, <coughs> old, old white men think I'm a bad actress, but I don't, I'm not an actress for old white men. And a lot of people give her flack for that. But the thing is, is like she's right because she's a young white woman that is in superhero movies. Why would she give a shit what like 60 to 80 year old critics have to say about her? 
You know what I mean? Or even I fi- guess I don't know why even. anybody gives a shit why sixty year old critics have to say about them. Well, right? I I care what like my grandma says about me, but I don't listen. That's why I'm still drinking. Shouts out. Oh. But anyway, it's like um, there's a petition going around with like a lot, like over a hundred something thousand signatures for her to like stop being Captain Marvel for the MCU. But it's like. I'm stealing this from the podcast. You can't just do that, though. You can't just... You can't. Like, I'm stealing this from JRE. You can't just expect a multi-millionaire actress to give up a multi-millionaire acting gig from a multi-billionaire company. Like, I don't give a shit yeah, what like, kind of morals this company and this person are preaching. Yeah, weren't they, like, trying to say that, like, if she's, like, a... It's if, she's really, a if she's really an activist, that yeah. she would give up her position as Captain Marvel to a... LGBTQ woman of color, which the thing that blows my mind the most is that none of these people even watch the movies or read the comics because there's more than one Captain Marvel, if I recall, because there's a man and there's also a woman. Now, I see where the issue is. They're both white. Wow. That's a problem. Yeah. But what a shame. still, <laughs> yeah, what a shame. What a tragedy. You know what's a tragedy? Kobe Bryant dying. Honestly, what the problem is, is that people are seeing, like, don't look at it as white people. Why can't they just look at it as people? Well, this is the thing that Joe Rogan mentioned. Because the more you talk about that kind of shit, that's 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 a racism, like, you're looking through the lens of racism. Right. Well, that's what, like, that is. Yeah, and that's the problem, is don't look through that lens, and then it don't, won't matter. It's like it, it's like you're you're finding racism and... You're trying to put, like, affirmative action where it's not really even a fucking issue. Like, and it becomes to the point, I mean, it's like they're Rooney ruling everything, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a football joke for those of you. Um, but Joe Rogan was saying, like, why does every woman that has a solid foundation in the industry. Why are they always pressured or no, 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 I, I'm paraphrasing or I, I'm, I'm messing that up. How come if you're a woman that supports the LGBTQ community in order to really be considered a activist an activist, rather you have to be of color. Isn't that weird? He didn't, he mentioned that offhand and made like a, like a couple minutes and talked about it, but it really makes sense. Like, that's the thing is like, if you're a white woman that is also an activist, your opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's like, cause you're just another white woman with that opinion. Right. Like most of them But are. most white, not even most white, most people I know are like completely on board with everything LGBTQ. T. I left off the T. R S. Dude, there. It's weird. Like, H-I-G-K-L. I mean, I I know I'm known for my very weird opinions on transgender people, but there are people that I know that I work with, like my superiors or coworkers or even like customers, which I'm gonna get to eventually because I had that story about an awful customer earlier in the cafe. But it's like. uh why are you alienating an entire race from supporting you? It's because you've been you you. It's because you know that we're better than you. Like, is that what it is? Is it because you assume that we're we're disingenuous? Is it like what is going on with that? Like, yeah, it's not this. Think, it's not a it, white racism thing. Like, I don't feel threatened by this at all. But it's like, why is it that? That's like what it comes from, though, is looking through that lens. That you the, just you people automatically assume that white people are up to no good, which <laughs> fair. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like you know anybody can be up. to Anybody no good. can be up to no good. So why are you just pinning it on? Because it's easy. Yeah, nobody will fault you for it. I mean, you get those these self hating white people. Well, because you can lump it into a group. And there's this girl that I know. It's easier to say that. There's this girl that I know that um, posted a thing. She put a thing on Instagram. She lives in fucking. She will never listen to this because she hates me now because I'm a white cis male. 
Right. Plus you're blocked on Facebook. Plus anyway. I'm blo- fucking banned from Facebook. That's fucking amazing to me. I can't even tell people that I'm banned from Facebook right now because like I'm banned from Facebook. <laughs> so like by the time this comes out, like I'm going to be unbanned and probably banned again. Like, but, um, this girl posted a thing and it was like, she goes on Instagram. It was like national spit on a cop day. Mm. That's very friendly. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what a good way to push your movement. Yeah. Fuck cops. Let's spit on them. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Now I'm biased. A couple of my friends, I know a lot of people that I grew up with and a couple of my friends personally are, are police officers, men and women. <clears throat> well, wasn't there people not that long ago shooting like, um, uh, Super soakers at cops and shit like that. Yeah, super soakers full of piss. Were they? Well, I don't think they were. May or may not have been, but it depends. But at the same time, it's like, how about you just be an adult, mm-hmm. realize that people aren't going to agree with you, and just fucking move on. The be an adult thing is wicked important because it seems like most of it is like immaturity. Like it's very immature. Like it feels very immature to just bitch about other people and what they get and what you don't have or, and blame it on fucking just something that doesn't really make any fucking sense at all. I don't know. It just bugs me. And I think it's starting to swing the other way, which is good. But like I'm so confused. The the only issue I have with it swinging the other way is I don't want it to swing too far the other way. Like people think I'm a Nazi alt right guy, but I'm really not. Not neither of you and yeah. I both aren't. But um, I would like to at least once. Well, don't be say able- that because now it sounds like we're covering it up. You know, right, right, right. I'm totally a fucking piece of shit. Well, don't say that either. You know, just white male. I hate <laughs> transgender people and Jews. Don't. Yeah. Anyway. But that's what it is actually, is like that's actually why you're sitting there because you have a swastika tattoo on your the other side of your head. Yeah, this, <laughs> the camera can't pick it up. Yeah, I just got it the other day. I'm still cleaning it up. Aqua yeah. four shouts well, out. Yeah, Aqu- you got to touch it up. Again, Aqua but... fresh, actually, it's toothpaste, but it's cheaper. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, I don't want to plug the other. Yeah, don't brand. plug. Plug. Uh, plug. Uh, plug your holes. Yeah, plug your holes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like. Uh, See, and now all the fucking rum and Jaeger is hitting me all at once. But basically what I'm getting at is if you have a movement, make it marketable. <laughs> yeah, come up with a catchphrase. <laughs> that's, no, that's what the civil rights movement did. Like, Rosa Parks wasn't the first person to stand up for herself on a bus, but she was the least threatening person that the civil rights movement can find. And that's a fact. The original person for the civil rights movement that they chose was this like 16 year 15 year old girl that was oppressed all of her life and probably still was till the end of her life yeah but what happened was they did a bunch of demonstrations and a bunch of things for her and she ended up getting pregnant and a 16 year old pregnant black girl in the 50s is not a good representative for your movement and they knowingly knew they knew this right. and they outcasted her and then threw in hey let's have this 60 some odd year old or 50 some odd year old you know or f- how old was Rosa Parks like 40 I don't know 40 year old black woman that's not threatening c- to the public eye yeah if you're if you're looking at this lens from like the 60s or 50s or 80s whenever it happened you know it, it may, make your movement marketable make it palatable you know, don't don't be so fucking aggressive. Like that's that's the thing that Dave Chappelle they're, was talking they're about. They're very abrasive and like forceful. They're very right. like forcing people into doing things. And that's an issue that I have with a lot of our friends. Not a lot of our friends. Uh, one of our main friends, one of our best friends, is that it's hard to have a discussion. And it's hard to continue a discussion without being talked down to or without being without talking down on them yeah and it's hard to like hash it out the tough part is just they people believe in their ideology so strongly that they think it's right immediately they just think it's perfect and not there's no flaws so when someone else has a different opinion they immediately go okay you need to be thinking on my level like you need to be exactly where i am this is the correct way and that's the issue that they that that people have with with somebody like you or I where we're kind of like okay you think that you believe that why 
And they get mad at you for wondering why. They're just ingrained in that that's the, the absolute. The problem is a lot of them don't know why. Like, no. they just know the talking points. Right. And that's, you know, it's an issue, but we deal with it. And Jake, we love you. <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's very wild too though like i don't know what's going on with this like i'll tell you right now donald trump's gonna win again yo for so sure know that. it's gonna be really stupid when this comes out a week after the election yeah <laughs> we should hold on to this we should bank this until the week after we should the bank this until november 20th <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i don't really i don't see anybody that's gonna compete and like the thing is the Sanders is kind of like the guy right now, it seems like, but they're not going to run with him. The Democrats don't want him for whatever no, reason. No, because he's an old white guy yeah. that's only and ever stuck with the same fucking ideals and policies that he's had since he was 30. Yeah, what a shame. Wow. You have somebody have that's, that. in, that's completely ingrained and chained to their morals? Yeah, can't have that. The problem is they don't get behind, they're not going to get behind one person. They won't find that one person to get behind, so you can't push them hard enough to oppose Trump in any sort of actual way. Trump's too... Trump's here, and then you got the rest of them down here right now. You got to get behind somebody and get them on that level. It's right. not going to happen. They can't, because they won't. They just won't go behind Sanders, who clearly right now I would imagine is the, probably the front runner. I think I, at least that's what I've seen statistically. The last polls I read had him at twenty six percent, and second place was twenty four percent, and the second place person was somebody that I don't even know who it is. Uh, uh, Buttigieg? 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 Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. He was second. But who the fuck is that guy? No one knows. If I was a Democrat, I wouldn't vote for him. He's the guy that's not Bernie Sanders. That's who he is. Right. But he's still a white man. Yeah. And they've spent the past four years alienating white men. So what are you going to do? Anyway, what's the next tip <laughs> talk? <laughs> All right. So politics and then this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jealousy here. Yeah, them bitches say I can't give them money. But them witches say I get candy. I say fuck, you say fuck. I do what the fuck I want. Why can't you say anything? I'm a bag, not a fat. I don't say anything at all. But this is who I am. I want to tell you. Bitches can't get money out of me. And remember, I ain't get, You just don't have a life at all. You have no life. And I do. I don't have as much money, but I have a family. I don't care about that. This is what's so fair. People getting paid every day. It's as bad as being gay. I don't know what this is. Oh, like I said in my first video. Some controversy. Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> that is what I do at all. Don't suck at it at all. Do some. Was that Kid Drip? Yeah, it was. I think that was Kid Drip's new track. I love how he does the thing where, like, it sounds like he, it feels like he's in his bedroom and his parents are right outside the door. Yeah, he, waiting like, gets, for him to sh pull the trigger. Yeah, and he like, like gets they're just quieter. listening for the shock and they go. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He like gets quieter when he says swear words, like he or he says. Like, well, he had to have only been like he was either thirteen or thirty. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It says Internet God three four five. So no, thirteen forty five. Oh shit! Yeah, that's that an old motherfucker. His first Christmas was Wait, the was first Christmas. In, he was born in 1345. That's what it says. Shit. Or he was born. Yeah, I usually assume if there's a number in someone's name that that's the year they were born in. Because I mean, what else would it be? I have to pee wicked bad. So just talk. What do you want me to talk about? I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right. Cool. All right, it's just us you, now, you, folks. You now start the conversation, and then I'll jump in. Okay. Well, it's just us now, folks. We're finally alone. Um, so I'll do some housekeeping. I'm not going to start a conversation because I don't have things written down. Um, so Impulse Podcast is a thing we're doing. Uh. You know, we I don't know if you guys have checked it out yet, but we have I don't know, three or four shows. I think it's four shows total right now, and we've actually like had a couple we've actually had like maybe five or six shows uh interested in joining. But like to us it's like a matter of finding shows that are the same style as ours, which really is just talking with no actual like with no actual structure. 
and you know the three other shows that we do this with right now we think you know sort of embody that in a lot of ways so you can go to impulsepodcasts.com and it'll show you like you know all of our shows and it'll give a page you can click on our shows and it'll bring you to a page or it'll send you to our website or whatever and um I just I want you guys to check their shows out because they're really cool. They're fun to listen to because especially if you live in this area and you know the people, it's a lot of fun because they have guests on that are from this area. I know like Anabasis has, um, you know, guests for, that they've, you know, either played shows with or whatever. Um, yeah, so it's interesting to listen to for sure. And, you know... I actually just did their their podcast. Uh, we shot it like a couple weeks ago, and it should be out relatively soon when this drops. Uh, they put out one every like two weeks or whatever, so I'm not sure when that's going to be out. Um, but, yeah, that's the general idea. So the website has all the stuff there. And then you can also check out our website, which is fucking – we have uh, the food or object segment up now, and you can go on there and like scroll through all of the like food or object things we've done in the past and you can like vote on them and stuff like that. It's just like a Google form or whatever. Um, which is pretty, I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. And it's like, you don't have to sit there and answer every fucking one of them. It's like random every time you refresh the page. So every time you go visit or whatever, it'll be different, you know, a different set of them that are at the top. Um, what else, what else is on there? Uh, I don't know. That's more or less it that's on there. I, we would like to do like more live streaming stuff. We actually planned on doing it after the Super Bowl, but we didn't. We did do some Periscope videos. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, we did like two or three Periscope, or we did like a Periscope video. We did some Instagram stories, but like we want to do more stuff as far as uh like extra social media stuff because our social media gets kind of boring when we just post episodes and clips. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Just wanted to plug those things really. Uh, we're having a weird thing as far as, uh, like our, our intro theme song. If you guys are like good with garage bands, send us like a cool, like a theme song of some sort. Cause, you know, just play around and come up with something cool because we might use it, honestly, because we need something because what we've been using has been getting copyright claimed, even though it's not, even though it's technically royalty free. Uh, so we're like looking for something new to use. Maybe we'll just get rid of the theme song in general and just use like what we do for our intro. Uh, but yeah, I think it'd be interesting if you guys like played around with GarageBand or even recorded something and sent it in to us because we would review it and probably probably end up using it realistically um yeah I don't know but this whole fucking thing like this whole uh Sanders thing is freaking me out like they they just the Democratic Party just does not want that like I'm just I'm I'm so like the Democrats have never wanted Bernie Sanders for the last like five fucking years or whatever. Going back to politics. I just I was watching something on it earlier because Graydon Square, uh, was doing like a stream, and he's kind of into politics and stuff. And they were just like he does like a Discord thing, like it was like a live stream, and he has people call in, and they were just kind of talking about it and how, like it seems like a lot of people are behind Bernie, but the Democrats just don't want to push him. And it's always just been such a dirty... It, it shows how dirty the game is. Oh, yeah. Like, and it's it, and it used to be, like, there was a benefit of the doubt. Like, it used to be that way. Like, you used to be like, oh, yeah, the government's... Like, there were people that kind of bought into it and people that didn't. But now it's like, everybody... It's very fucking out in the open that there's everyone's corrupt in the fucking government. Like, it's very fucking out in the open. And now it's just a game like as a matter of how they can be corrupt and make it work. <laughs> like <laughs> the, the, the thing I'm worried about the most is that from here on out now, government <clears throat> presidential elections were always smear campaigns. Right. 
But I think that's what they're just going to be boiled down to. That's all it is, though. Like, it's, did you see Bloomberg's um, political ad? I think so. Recently, they're always black and white. Yeah, they're always black and white. It's always the, the same voice actor. Yeah, and then and then Michael Bloomberg took New York City from ashes to riches. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, I don't remember that guy at all. Remember? No. <laughs> Do you remember that dude? I don't remember him at uh, all. I don't. Like, I don't give a shit about Mike Bloomberg because we live in New York, but we don't live in New York City. So fuck that guy. Right. Also, I love at the end of political ads where it'll be like, uh, <laughs> "This, this message, message is sponsored. endorsed, endorsed yeah, by yeah, like yeah. by." I am Donald Trump. Trump, and I approve this message. Yeah, it's like wait, I didn't do his, you I didn't do the impression right. <clears throat> I am Don. Wait, That's and not- and and <laughs> I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> was Donald it really? Trump. I no, feel it like it was awful. No, it sounded pretty dumb. It sounded pretty dumb. I was going around, and I saw crooked Hillary. There you go. You got that. You got like the. There's a little bit of a like the the inflection. See, yeah, I yeah. smoked too many cigarettes. <laughs> and she took a dump. She took a dump in the McDonald's bathroom. <laughs> and I nearly puked. I totally stole that from Psychic Pebbles, but Oh, is that what he was? I yeah. didn't know if he said that or what was going on. I don't remember. <laughs> I was playing croc and I saw little characters in cages and I I thought that's okay. And I turned them into a uh, Cartoon character. Cartoon character at the end. But dude, this fucking quest bar is so good. Yeah. Birthday. Do you want? Do you want a piece of this shit? It's actually way. Whose birthday good. is it? Why are you bringing the cake? It's thing? delicious. Try that. Try it. Here's <laughs> one my my fingers didn't touch. <laughs> try try it. Oh sick. Oh, it smells like protein. It is. There's a lot of it. That's actually wicked good, though. Like, for real. Kind of tastes like Dunkaroos, which are coming back, by the way. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Did you, Were you not excited <coughs> either? Because I don't give a fuck about Dunkaroos. I, Dunkaroos are going to come back. I'm going to buy one package and be like, oh, yeah, that's why they were gone. Mm-hmm. It's somewhat nostalgic. It's a nostalgic thing, really. Is what All right, sick. Well, how about you bring my grandpa back, then? That's what I thought. Corporate <laughs> America. <laughs> bring both my grandpas it's back. It's a little bit fucker. more difficult. It's more difficult. You got to collect all seven Dragon Balls. <laughs> That's the hard part. Can I only pick one grandpa? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you only get one wish. Like, I don't think you can bring back multiple people, right, with one wish. So I didn't they do like, that after they Frieza? They did do that. They did that after Frieza. Yeah. So bring that back That was a loophole, rappers. though. Or was that the Namekian dragon? No, no, because Namek blew up, right? Yeah, Namek yeah, blew yeah, yeah. up. Um, fuck, but if I had to pick between my two grandpas... <sighs> That's tough. For me, personally, it would be... Grandpa Jennings, because I was a lot closer with him. He was, yeah, he was the better one of the two. Dude, he was badass. He was a Marine. Yeah. He was the other a one ain't shit. champion boxer. No, fuck you. <laughs> but that's, basically, <laughs> that's basically what you're saying. No, Grandpa Carson was a cool guy, but I think I would bring him back just to bring balance to the force. He was more of a... Uh, You'd have to get the Dragon Balls twice. He had a lot of, he had, a, he had this gravity to him that um, was admirable. He had gravity to him. Yeah, he was pretty big. Wait, so but do I if if he comes back, does he still have Parkinson's? <laughs> yeah, do they come back as they were, or does they come back yeah, like the youthful? Yearbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring both of them back at the age of sixty. That's what I'll take. Yeah, so that yeah, way, yeah, yeah. Someone will be on like expeditions and talk to Grandpa Carson about a bunch of cool shit that I never thought. Like, d- tell me about Dale Earnhardt and how much you hate him and why he's the best driver of all time. Yeah, senior. Not a junior. Yeah. But, um... I wonder what they'd say, man, that Kobe's gone, you know? Dude, I think my Grandpa Jennings would freak out if he was reincarnated. If, like, we brought him back and he was, like, 
what's Kobe Bryant went up to? <laughs> and I was like, oh, he died in a helicopter crash. So what are Kobe Bryant? What are Kobe's stats? <clears throat> yeah, Kobe being gone is still amazing to me. Like it blows my mind. I mean, both my grandpas being dead is still pretty wild too. But you know, Kobe is fresh. <laughs> yeah, it's a fresh wound. It's a wound. fresh wound. <laughs> Hasn't st- I really hope nobody I really hope nobody listens to this. I've been drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> that was so great. Yeah. That fucking D and D session was so great. I love that that's like your new catchphrase now. <laughs> I've been drinking. Sick, 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 sick. Oh my god, that's so funny though, that that I literally burnt out an entire fucking action surge just to do that for against an enemy that I didn't need to do that against <laughs> to get up a rope to, to get up a around. rope I birthed an entire ability just to fucking shoot a guy seven times in the chest with a crossbow yeah but it was good it was cinematic it was hilarious it was so cinematic dude <laughs> that's some like fucking Zack Snyder shit but um I want to talk about the the fucking worst customer I've ever had mm. I need some water first. I got a lot of protein stuck in my gums. Yeah, I'm really feeling that protein. Like, I feel like I'm feel jacked already. You know, I feel like I'm bigger. It's really weird, dude. These quest bars are fucked up. Like, they they give you energy immediately. I feel like I'm stronger. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I need to lift shit. <laughs> we need to fuck something. <laughs> we just start. We just start picking shit up. We just, <laughs> we just you, get that. Get that. I, I'll take this. <laughs> we, just start, we just start juggling the fridge <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Lift with your knees. <coughs> fuck. No, you got to use. Your oh back. wait, it's by all the way, your back. So I, I um, did you email Facebook Incorporated to get their get your account back? No, but basically what happened was I posted this picture on... I'm going to fucking put it on the Instagram story of for the for the show. Well, I'll have to do it when it comes out. When oh, this comes right. out. That's right. But um, I posted this photo, and it's like this... It's this two-by-two two comic, oh, and the, the top two panels are... It's this Japanese girl with a face mask on. And then it's got the uh, a picture of like a virus next to it, which is coronavirus. But then the next panel is her taking the face mask down, and she has a ball gag in underneath the fucking the the mask. And then the next panel is a fucking virus cell, but it has its tongue out, like the ahagao face or the the ahagao. Oh yeah, that's you know what stupid, I'm talking like, like the cross eyed thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cross eye and then <laughs> the tongue cross out. eyed tongue out thing. I don't understand that's that. That's what that was, but I posted it like over a week ago, and that's just now getting reported. So I sent it to my buddy Jeremy and and uh Wait, so what is the cross-eyed tongue thing supposed to be though? It's from like a uh, hente. Oh, is it? So is it like a universally used a sex it's a sexual thing. So what is it like a Yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. Like <clears throat> it makes them look like they're dying. Yeah, that's the point. Oh really? I think so. Oh, so it's like they're it's filling them up. Yeah, it's yeah, filling yeah, them up yeah. till they, they die. They get fucked. They get fucked mm. stupid. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, Fair. um, so I had the worst customer of all time in the cafe today, <laughs> and I don't work in the cafe that often anymore. Um, you, maybe once every other week I work in the cafe <clears throat> to pick up a shift. So I had this customer come in about two thirty in the afternoon today, and uh. She comes up to the counter. Seems like a nice, nice lady so far. Though. She's the only customer so far. She, this is how she looked. She was wearing a coach jacket. You okay. could tell because it had C's tough. everywhere. That's a tough one. She had a coach purse. You could uh, tell because it had one. C's everywhere. That's a tough one. She had her those. cell phone out, which had a oh. coach case. You oh. could tell because of the C's everywhere. And I'm not exaggerating. I am not even fucking kidding. She had the bangs to her eyebrows, shoulder length, obviously dyed brownish, blackish hair, and she had awful makeup. So she was at least. I thought you, I thought you were gonna say the, uh, you know, the hairdo that Alice has in um, 
workaholics. Workaholics. A little that, longer than that. That like, hairdo. But that, but a little longer. I was gonna say that hairdo means you're a bitch immediately. Immediately. A There's cunt. not a nice person <clears throat> that has that hair. So I'm the only person in the cafe right now, and I'm I'm taking like a stock. I'm like m- making track of the stock and stuff like that. And I just got done. Like we stopped serving lunch at like 1:45. So she comes in at 2.30. Now, mind you, when we stop serving lunch, we still serve, you know, subs and wraps and sandwiches and melts and stuff like that. And so she comes up to the jobs. counter. And hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> she comes up to the counter. And I look at her. I go, hey, uh, you know, how can I help you? Is there anything I can do for you? She goes, yeah. Uh, can I get a double bacon cheeseburger? Oh, double. Holy shit. And I look at her, I go, no, unfortunately, uh, no, we don't have any cheeseburgers right now. And she goes, oh, well. Do you usually have cheeseburgers? She goes, you guys had cheeseburgers yesterday. Ooh, I go, tough. yeah, we probably did. But we stopped serving those at, you know. <laughs> but we don't today. <laughs> well, we did. I go, we stopped serving lunch around, <laughs> uh, we stopped serving lunch around two o'clock. And so all the burgers are gone. <clears throat> And I go, but at four o'clock, we're bringing dinner out and we'll have fresh burgers, you know. So if you want one at four, I can give you one, but I can't give you one right now. She looks at me and she goes, so you're telling me I have to wait until four o'clock to get a double bacon cheeseburger. And I look at her, I go, yeah, you do. <clears throat> and immediately. We're not going to just make a fucking cheeseburger for you. Immediately, I know that, that she's going to be a problem. So then she goes, well. Why can't you just grill one right now? And I'm not kidding. I turn around and I look at her. I go, I don't have a grill. <laughs> like, there's no grill behind me. It's a fucking deli counter. <laughs> I have a fucking toaster and a microwave. That's all I have. I don't have a grill. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't have a grill. And she goes, okay, well, I'm going to get two sandwiches then. I go, all right. And she stands and looks at the menu. She goes, I'm going to get the chicken bacon ranch melt. I go, okay. I go, uh, so. Would you like that grilled? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 the toaster we have is like, a, uh, you, you might have one at Ponderosa. It's an impinger. So it's like one of those toasters on a conveyor belt. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. what they use at uh, Calio's. The, literally the same exact thing. And um, so she goes, I want the, the chicken bacon ranch melt. I go, okay. She goes, but. I don't want ranch dressing and I don't want pepper jack or cheddar cheese. I only want provolone cheese. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's a weird request, but that's fine. So I grabbed the flatbread, keyword flatbread. And you can like, if you've been to the hospital cafe, you can see what they're making. Like you can see what I'm making you while you make it. Like there's no barrier at all you can see what i'm doing so i have the flatbread i set it down on the cutting board i throw the bacon on i throw the the diced chicken on and i put provolone cheese on it and i put it on the thing the little the the screen to send through the impinger and i set it down and it goes to the impinger it gets impinged it gets impinged and i turn around and she looks at me like she's scared and she goes, did you put that on flatbread? I go, yeah. I go, it comes on flatbread. It's a melt. Like, all of our melts come on flatbread. And she goes, well, I want that on a hamburger roll. I go, okay. Well, at this point, it's already fucking halfway through the machine. I can't, I can't take it out. I can't unimpinge it. Yeah. So I f- I'm like, all right. So I grab a hamburger roll. And I do the bacon bits. Well, now you got something to eat, though. I did. Yeah, I did. I do the bacon bits, the diced chicken, the provolone cheese, provolone cheese on each slice. I put it on the thing. And right when I set it on the impinger again, it just starts to go through. She goes, excuse me. And I turn around. I go, yeah. She goes, do you have bacon strips instead of bacon bits? I go, well, actually, yeah, we do. She goes, well, I want bacon strips instead. (sighs) So I had to put a fucking uh, hot glove on, reach into the impinger and pull the thing out right away and then go over to the cutting board, take the bacon bits off and put bacon strips on, put the more cheese back on because it was ruined and run it back through. So now at this point, the flatbread sandwich is gone. So I take that and I box it up and I set it off to the side. She goes, I don't want that sandwich. I you're, want it on the, the hamburger roll. And I look at her, I go, I know that's. 
I'm running that one through right now. She goes, well, why'd you box that up? And I go, because I'm just going to save it in case somebody else wants it. Me. Namely me. (laughs) And she goes, oh, okay. Well, I want a second Why do you give a shit that he's putting it in a box? Because she's a cunt. And she goes, well, I didn't even tell you my second sandwich yet. Are you still going to make that? And I go, yes, (laughs) when you tell me what it is. (laughs) So she goes, well, <laughs> she like expected you to make the second sandwich before she, <laughs> right, told you dude, was. I'm not a soothsayer, you know, she goes, well, I want the Turkey and Swiss club, but I don't want Swiss and I don't want it on, uh, what is it? We have, uh, this, uh, it's what the fuck's it called? It's like artisanal bread. It's like, sourdough. it's kind of like, it's kind of like sourdough bread. Yeah. She's like, but I don't want it on the artisan bread. I want it on wheat bread. I'm like okay, I go. Okay, well, what is that all? I go. I go. What cheese do you want instead? She goes, uh, provolone. She says it like that. Uh, provolone. So I'm like supposed to assume that she wants the same cheese for both sandwiches. Of course, yes. Apparently, fucking cunt. I hope she dies. <laughs> and so I'm putting this, and I and this is where I go. I go. So do you want do you want whole wheat or do you want the multigrain? And you know, multigrain bread. It's got like the seeds and stuff in it. And she goes, multigrain wheat is fine. I go, okay. So I make the whole sandwich, and it's a club sandwich. It's a nice so it's a, got a couple, you know, I take the bread, I put got mayonnaise, the I put it. mayonnaise on each side. Or no, I, I take the bread, I put mayonnaise on each side. I do turkey, I do provolone, and then uh, tomato and onion. You put the lettuce on after you run it through the toaster because nobody wants warm lettuce. Right. And I grab it and I run it through. And it gets like into the machine. Impinged. And she goes, you know what? I don't like the seed wheat. Can I get just plain wheat? And I'm like. How does she not understand that? It's like. And this is. And I felt bad. I'm probably going to get spoken to about this. I look at her and I do this. I like do the face palm thing. And I'm like, yep, I can do that. But this is the thing, Seth. At this point, there are like four other people in the cafe. I'm the only person in there right now, and these four other people are waiting yeah, for me so to take their orders. Seeing, they're also seeing. And they're also witnessing this, and they're also all co-workers of mine because they all work at the hospital. So they're just as pissed as I am. So I remake this fucking turkey and provolone club sandwich, run it through. I give her the fucking chicken bacon ranch on a hamburger bun. With bacon strips instead of bacon bits, which is retarded. It has to be because the strips. bacon bits are literally just diced bacon strips. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact form. same thing. And so we get to the um, we get to the checkout line. So I haven't seen the checkout line is out of the field of view of the deli counter. It's around the corner. It's in a different like area of the yeah, cafe. It's not rendered. In- now this is what I didn't know. I had no idea that there were three other people waiting in line that just went to the salad bar or were buying coffee and were waiting for me this entire time. So not only did I have this bitch that I made the f- sandwich for, I ended up making the three other sandwiches as well and went out there. And all of a sudden, I'm at the register alone with seven people waiting for me to check them out. And the first three people have been waiting there for a while, at least five to ten, at least... It takes two minutes for things to toast through the, the the impinger. So being generous, they were there for at least six minutes waiting. And I ring them up and I get to this woman. And um, I rang her up. And she looks at me and she goes, you know, I think you should practice a little more. And then walks away. And the four people that were behind her, (laughs) they look at me and they look at her walking out of the cafe and they look back at me and I'm just like, I don't even know what the fuck to do. (laughs) Like, I can't even be mad. Like, that's just the most power. That's the most alpha move ever. But her visitor pass said intensive care unit. So I hope whatever parent she's there to visit dies. Yeah. Immediately. Fuck you. Like, that's so stupid. It's like, why be so disrespectful? Why be so difficult? And the worst part, the worst part, 
is that my coworker came back from her lunch break like 10 minutes after that. And I'm like, I go, Jackie, I just had the worst customer in my entire life. And I go, and I knew she was awful right off the bat. You were like crying. There's like snot coming out. And immediately, um, I'm not even kidding, immediately Jackie goes, oh, did she have a coach coat and a coach bag? I go, yeah. She goes, oh, I dealt with her yesterday. She was fucking awful. And I'm like, oh, my fucking God. So not only, I I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. I was, I I thought like, oh, okay, you're from, you're, you're visiting the intensive care unit. You're having a stressful day, whatever. But no, you were a cunt yesterday too. You're not allowed to be a cunt for 48 straight hours. Fuck you. I hope you lose all your teeth. more than 48, technically bullshit like they i feel like some people just know how to they they do that stuff on purpose to try and get something for free out of it right they were not expecting my resilience yeah yeah (laughs) i've been drinking (laughs) i've been drinking (laughs) but yeah i was so fucking frustrated people so stupid i don't know some people are just uh, maybe they're just assholes they just do that on purpose it feels like it takes more effort to be an asshole like that though you could just tell them what you want and then just stand back for a second. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. But yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That was the only thing I really had to mention because we talked about it for a little bit before we even got here was how I had an awful fucking customer. But, um, yeah. Do you ever deal with shit like that at Country Max? Uh, yeah. I mean, not to that degree, I guess. No, I she's the worst. This, she, like, well, I, I remember seeing this guy that fucking walked in. He was just absolutely, he looked like an asshole. He was a big dude. And he, like, asked me. I was in, like, the dog food area, and he, like, asked me, like, hey, do you have any, like, um, uh, do you have any, like, adult, um, breed dog food or whatever like adult specific dog food and I was like yeah well most of our brands carry like an adult formula and he's like oh no because before he had asked me he goes oh do you work here and I said yeah and then he asked me if I, if we had the adult like formulas or whatever I was like yeah most most of our brands carry an adult fucking like formula and he goes oh I guess you don't work here like I didn't know what I was talking about or oh something. My and then he God. and then he leaves the cart, just leaves his cart with a couple things in it, and then walks out the front door. What? I was like, oh, well, wait a minute. All of our brands do carry adult formulas. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that reminds me of a guy that I dealt with uh the other night. Um he came in. It's know. weird too recommending dog food because you don't have any idea. And you don't have any dogs. Uh, if they're like, oh, like I'm looking for this brand, I'll show them where the brand is because it's all sorted by brand, and I'll try and make some suggestion because that's all you can really do. But for dog food, it's like they could buy something, give it to their dog, and then their dog just doesn't fucking like it, and then they, they waste like thirty bucks. Yeah, and it's you have to buy like five pound bags or whatever of it, and they're like seventeen bucks or whatever. So. Mm. I don't ever want to recommend things to well, that's them. And I just, usually tell people that I usually go. feed your dog. Yeah. Well, I usually tell people, like, I'm not going to, I don't want to recommend something to you because I don't know what your dog's going to like and not like. It's it's usually a trial error. Sort right. Of. We had a guy that came in to the hospital the other day from an ambulance and then refused to see the doctor because he was Indian. Mm, that's tough. That's a good um, one. It blows my mind. Wait, he was Indian or the doctor was the Indian? Doc- <laughs> the doctor was Indian. Well, it reminds me of that one patient. He's I like, had. nah, I'm Indian. <laughs> I nah, you're Indian. I can't have to go here. Bring me to upstate. No, we had a patient that um, was extremely racist and refused to get a CAT scan if she was going to be scanned by uh, black guys. Like she, she was like, "Are any of the doctors, or are any of the doctors that do cat scans black?" I Can go, I get a white cat scan, please? I go, um, an all white. I go, cat t- I go today. No, they're both white men. I go. I'm pretty sure they're both Irish. She goes, oh, "Okay, good. I don't want to be black guys running tests on me." Oh my god! And she's old enough to know better. 
Or young enough to know. Young better. enough to know what <laughs> well, yeah. Either like way, a, old enough to know better. Like, fuck is, you. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Like, being born that long ago doesn't really give you an doesn't excuse. Doesn't rectify your racism. <laughs> yeah. But that's how it works, though. It's like there's always grandparents that are just, they'll, like, say things, you know? I still love when my grandma says Oriental. Because, like, it's not... And, like, what are you going to do? Well, like, you're like, ah, like I don't right, think, I'm going to head out. I don't, like, think, gonna... or, I don't think Oriental is that bad. No, that's not that bad, really. Because, like, you can't say Asian. Because there's a lot more countries in Asia besides, yeah. like, you know, Chinese and Japanese. Like, you know, those people. Yeah. It reminds <laughs> me of that Burr bit where he's, like, uh, he talks about all the Asians in the restaurant. What are all these... <laughs> no, he goes... No, she goes, uh, excuse me, this is going to seem oddly racist, but there are a lot of Asians in this restaurant. <laughs> He's like, that's not racist. <laughs> you haven't said anything bad about Asians. <laughs> there are He's a like, lot of Asians in this restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, however, if you were to say, what the fuck are all these fucking Asians doing in this fucking restaurant? <laughs> I'm get that would seem oddly racist. <laughs> it's always a, yeah. He goes, that's always a good way to start a sentence. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching all of his old specials again because they're the fucking. I feel like Let It Go is his best. I was one. just gonna say Let It Go is the best. Yeah, is that the one um, with Subway? Yeah, <laughs> make my fucking sandwich. You. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. I mean, he's just machine gunning you with shit, and it's so good. That's the one about him buying a shotgun too. Uh, and then the one it's after got a good that. Spread. You people are all the same is a really good one too. All of them are really fucking good. Why do I do this is my it's another one that I love. Mm-hmm. There's Walk Your Way Out and then there's what's Paper the other Tiger. one? Paper Tiger. I think that's all of them, right? There's six on Netflix. Pretty sure. <laughs> That's just a huge testament to the fact that Carlin was literally doing a new HBO special every year. Yeah. And they were all knocked out of the park. Yeah, that's wild. I think, um, I want to say it's complaints and grievances. It's the one where he does the bit where, um, people who ought to be killed, and that's like the whole fucking show. Carlin also does a lot of stuff that, like, his lead ups are long. So, like, a lot of the stuff, the material isn't meant to be funny. It uh, it is complaints and grievances, by the way. Like a lot of his material is philosophical in a lot of ways, so like it's building up to a something that's funny. Bill Hicks was like that too, and we talked about this before. Yeah, so you, Bill you know. Hicks was fantastic at that. Bill Hicks had the, my favorite fucking Bill Hicks line was so good. He talks about um, yeah, Alex Jones. You mean? Yeah, he goes. Um, it's the same guy. He goes. Uh, He's like, I hate when I meet people that tell me they're pro life. I'm pro life. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes, if I was a, he goes, I, I would never. He goes, I, if I was a foster child, I would never want to be adopted by a Christian family. He goes, I would, I would want to be, I would want to be adopted by the Satan worshippers because at least they listen to good music. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. I actually remember that one. There's one. What, there is his one, bit about huh? Easter is hilarious. Uh, well. He's like Easter. He goes Easter is a holiday that befuddles me. He's like Australia does Easter the same way that we do in America. Uh, a, a giant bunny rabbit hides chocolate eggs all around your house. He goes, if that didn't exist, and instead it was, <laughs> instead it was a human goldfish that left Lincoln logs in your sock drawer, <laughs> it would make just as much sense. <laughs> and he goes, mummy. Mommy, there's Lincoln Longs in me sock drawer. That's the story of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably right. Dude, Hicks was amazing. Like his stuff, a lot of his a lot of his stuff did not age well. Yeah. Cuz he was very uh Well, that's why he started Infowars. Infowars.com, newswars.com. Bill Hicks and Alex Jones are not the same person. Uh, I don't know. That's not what. Well, Alex Jones did say I'm Bill Hicks on show, Joe Rogan. On show Joe me the Rogan. receipt. Infowars.com. 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 You know Vinny is taking Alpha Brain now? Is he? Is yeah. he smarter now? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> That's not how it works. He's got to take Shroom Tech. That's the one. 
on it.com slash clear shots. <sighs> so that's and that's it, right? I think that's it, right? I think, I think we it. covered it. We, right? we talked about sex for like 30 minutes, but we're a little over 210 right now. Ah, uh, yeah. We got food or object, but I'll save them. No, use, let's do food or object. I've got like five of them. Fuck it. You don't want to save them? No. Oh, we're having Wes on next. Yeah. We could do all five of them with Wes. We could do all five of them with Wes, but we're totally blue balling everybody right now. I know, but they know. They can go to the website and do food or object themselves if they want. I have an idea. Food or object. Ready? Hot sauce or socks that aren't white. Mm, hot sauce. <laughs> really? I Do you wear so. white socks? No, but I would. Because if you take hot sauce, you can only ever wear white socks ever. Yeah, that's fine. I like hot sauce. It's good. Damn. I'll wear white socks. How about hot socks? I guess you don't need graphic socks, although I have graphic socks. We both have graphic socks on. Mine have Sonic <laughs> the Hedgehog on them. It's <laughs> not and the, the live action My other Sonic ones though. have Stormtroopers and Darth Vader on yeah, them. Yeah, they don't match. Mine match. No, that's what's funny about them. They don't match. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the live action Sonic. That's the good one, the live action one. We should go see the new Sonic movie. No, <laughs> let's should get go wicked, see it for Let's sure. get wicked trash and go see the Sonic uh, movie. I've been drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> suk, 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 suk. <laughs> suk. Seven. Seven shots from the crossbow. Yeah. Seven. Seven shots from the crossbow. <laughs> that's it's like a Sesame Street. Seven. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> yeah, that's the count. That's going to be my next D&D character is the count. He just counts shit. He just has autism. Yeah. That's that's probably it. Um Infowars.com, newswars.com. Uh <laughs> yeah, visit us on infowars.com. That'd be sick if we got a show on InfoWars, dude. We should get that. I'll talk to Alex. Yeah, hit him up. He has See what number. he can do. Send him a page. Yeah. Uh yeah. That's it. Uh clearshotspodcast.com. <laughs> You can mm-hmm. you can play food or object on there, you know, and then we'll just get you in some next week. I gotta fart, so we'll talk to you later. Bye. ClearShotsPodcast.com is where you'll find links to everything we do. You can check us out on Twitter at ClearShotsPod. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and check us out in Periscope for live videos. If you have anything you want to ask us, send us an email at ClearShotsPodcast at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. We will see you next time.